Welcome to our first Dungeons and Dragons campaign. This is where we will follow the epic tales of three heroes whose fates are woven together, and as we unravel their tale, we will learn of their tragedy. Let us, let us all dive into the world of luscious green pastures, hills that roll across the endless plains, all sorts of wild beasts and critters scattered across the woodlands and long mountain ranges that guard the northern lands. Let us us dive into the world known as Gwesar. We begin our tale with one of our heroes. As we see a scene of a young elvish girl with olive skin tone, long ears, and her face blush from exerting herself. Her long black hair swayed back and forth, causing the feather beads at the end of her hair to make a soft chime sound. She is wearing a soft pale green cloth white fabric that wraps around her bust and a beautiful long skirt that is carefully split down the middle. This young elven girl does not stop running. With desperation, she cries out, Carlin, pay, pay Carlin, wait Carlin. Finally, she caught up to the individual ahead. Without skipping a beat, she finally turns her tired head towards the individual and say, Carlin, why are we here? You know we must not go beyond the mist veil. It protects our forest from the ravagers. Kalin looks ahead and focuses her attention at the sights in front of her. The young elven girl finally realized why she was led here. A small beautiful clearing in the forest with streaks of sunlight filtering through the leaves of the tree, bathing a herd of deer. The herd looked to be grazing as the stag of the herd stand out. The stag has lar large antlers and stands with a noble presence. He has a small white tuft of hair on its sternum. And as she stares, her words escapes her. Wow, this is so beautiful. Then you quickly snap out of the trance and hide and hid behind a tree. Kayla, would you like to describe your character at this point? Uh, yeah, so Kaylin is, she's about five foot five. She's got a very tan skin. Beautiful green eyes, beautiful brown hair. Um, she's wearing like a like a loin cloth type of thing and something to cover her chest. And she's got like blue markings on her face and her arms and her legs. You hunch right next to Iwani, a young girl that you know uh, from your tribe. She is uh, your friend, and she has yet um, have come to age. But she looks up to you um, with great reverence. Uh, she finds your company and your teachings um, insightful. This girl has been following you and she says to you, I hope the chief does not know. Are you sure it's safe to lead outside the tribe like this? Well, we won't get anywhere if we don't take any chances, right? And she'll let Jesus. She says, no, don't go far. The ravages might get us. Oh, oh God, man. She begrudgingly hands off and just <laughs> slowly walk behind you. Um, you look at her now. Uh, she, uh, her face is just, uh, tiny, um, around and sort of like, uh, Around with big eyes and tiny ears. Uh, she looks pretty young for an elf. Um, she hasn't received her uh, her coming of age ceremony yet. Um, as she sneaks behind you, you close up to the uh, the herd. But what do you do? Um, I uh, she just kind of approaches them just to like watch them, look at them, just keeps a safe dis distance. She doesn't really want to disturb them, but she's interested and kind of fascinated by them. Um, so she's just kind of like walking around them, trying to get looks and different angles and just kind of really trying to dig in the sight. The stags um, stands in its online form. As it stands up tall, you see its large um, 
third chest that is like higher, it's like taller than even here. This large stag creature with various uh, with long horns and its um, majestic uh, stance, it looks at you breathing heavily. Um, and you've gone pretty close, about ten feet close. So, uh, Tina will put her hand up, uh, carefully, slowly, and very cautiously. And she'll kind of walk closer to it. All right. I don't uh, say anything yet. <laughs> you hear a warning whisper. Careful. <laughs> um. She's so paranoid. This poor girl. Really? <laughs> Roll a d20. Uh oh. <laughs> if you roll a one, then she is rightfully so. I roll so. a 15. Do oh, I add anything to it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, just roll a d20 and add your animal handler. Oh, god, I have to do math. <laughs> uh, 21? 21. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, this, this large stag, um, bows his head. In honor, slowly. That's nice. Um, maybe I should touch its snout very gently. Um, and just, you know, kind of speak softly to it. Okay, so, like, oh, you're, you're so pretty, you're having such a nice day. <laughs> you know, thank you for letting us hang out with you. Like, you know, things like that. Nothing too crazy important, but, you know, kind of just speak calmly to it. Kind of like you would, like a like a cat, you know. Um. Yeah, and it nuzzles in your in, in your uh, beautiful, grace, beautiful touch. Yeah, it bows down and kind of sits down and looks at its back. Oh my god! I would like to jump on its back. <laughs> as you jump, <laughs> I mean, on not like jump, but <laughs> as you um uh, leap on its back gingerly. Um, you notice Iwani just freaks out. She says, oh, God, I am. What are you doing? I can't believe. No. No, Carlin, we are not eating the bear. <laughs> gonna kind of look at her, like, head tilted, like... God, no. You... No. Yes? <sighs> <laughs> Could save. I will protect you. And she's gonna kind of reach her hand out to Imani as a like, okay, I got you, come on, I'll go. She uh, grabs on your hand uh, and you lift her up. You hear the um, stag stand up, sh- um, kind of like uh, moving his head left and right to kind of shake off the. Um, some dust on its nose. It then gallops through the forest with its herd. As you guys are rushing through this green, uh, this beautiful forest, you finally reach uh, the edge of the veil. And you hear sounds of uh, grunting, um, chopping, of the trees falling down. Off in the distance, beyond the veil. What do you do? Um. Hmm. I think. I mean. Jesus, that is a very good question. <laughs> um. I think she would continue to approach, but probably pretty slowly, because uh, you know she is somewhat concerned, somewhat cautious, but she also wants to wants to see. You know, she's a very curious person by nature, so she's, she'll keep approaching slowly. Um, On the stag, you ask the stag to approach slowly. The stag moves closer and closer to the sound. Now you can kind of visibly make, um, see the um, dangers ahead. You see a large hulking creature um, with skin uh, gray and um, dark gray. And you see its jaws, large, with tusks protruding out. 
it's um, these creatures seems to be uh, skinny um, in terms of uh, uh, size, uh, lanky I should say, uh, but it's they're still their muscle mass is still twice the size of yours, carrying a large axe made from uh, the bones of its uh, enemies and or stone. It, it has various cut marks on its body and markings, and it looks like it's chopping down um, wood to make a home for their captives. And as you can see, chains are tied around the necks of goblins, a uh, small creature that are, um, they're, they're green, they have like usually a green skin. Um, some of them have like this pale gray, and they're a bit taller. They're wearing um, some armor, actually, and uh, their face is um, long, their ears are even longer, and their eyes are like, being red, and you see them as, <laughs> and you see the orcs just going, <sighs> showing it up and kicking some of the small goblins. <laughs> um, you can't make any details of what they're doing aside from just like, bantering with each other. What do you do? Um, if we I'm going to hand to uh, get off the stag. Um, we put our, put our hand up to both the stag and uh, Yuani, and uh, just gonna keep trying to approach to see if we can get a better idea of what's going on. Yuani looks at you and goes, "Kalen, Kalen, 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 no, you, you can't beat me." <laughs> gonna just completely ignore that <laughs> and. Uh, uh, going forward, but she's gonna be close enough to where she can look back at the stag and hand it to Yuani. Um, yeah. So, or if something does happen, she can run back over. Um, you see the uh, orcs actually eating um, the uh, large chunk. Uh, it looks like he just ripped the entire leg out of the uh, dead uh, uh, stag. And just gnawing on the meat that's left on its uh, tendons. And you see the goblins ch chained, although chained uh, by the neck, you see like a metal collar around its neck, trying to vie for those food as they're like scrab uh, they're like scrounging around where all of, like the scrapes and the crumbs that he had left uh, after chewing the meat. He's going around. Yeah. <laughs> You see the orc just laughs, <laughs> kicks the, uh, the, uh, the goblins, making fun of them. Kind of sitting on the cut uh, wooden tree, like left a log area so you can sit on. You see one orc and three goblins. In a small like wooden uh, thatched area so you can rest in this clearing that he had made. Um, I mean, you could probably watch for a little bit just to, as I said, try and like figure out what exactly is going on. Um, and then to also uh, look around to see if like how like if there's a more orcs, because you said that you know, there's one. Right. Um, um. Yeah. You looked around. You got close enough to look around, and you don't see any more orcs coming in. Uh, you only see them to see one. Um. Looks like this orc. Uh. Um. Uh. These orcs don't move together. Um, they're pretty much uh, by themselves usually. They don't run in a band. Okay. Um, then I guess just gonna kind of see if there's a way they can like come to the orc, but like within a safe distance of this orc and his uh his uh goblin. His goblin Hello, friend. friends. His his buddies there. Um, because she I didn't I feel like she does want to keep you know. Sorry, you know, but she doesn't feel like fighting this war. <laughs> okay. And before you even make a step, uh, you, you, I'm sorry, you make your step back towards the uh, uh, Iwani and the uh, stag uh, to try to kind of run around the orc. As you get closer, you hear the sound of um, whistling. And only you know this whistle. I mean, this is a way for them to communicate. Through the tree. And as you hear sounds of 
well, I can't do this whistle, so. <laughs> um, the whistles kind of echo through these uh, dense forests and the orcs just... Mm. <laughs> and you know that whistle is the sound of your father calling you. <laughs> but Dad, I was almost up the edge. <laughs> um, so like to kind of do that, where she like kind of sigh, her shoulders are slumped, and kind of like roll her eyes. Um, um, as you do that, you can visibly see Lonnie's face going like from scared to even like worried now. Like she's now <laughs> scared of the repercussions that when she returns home. You take him back to the clearing, uh, the stack, back to the clearing where you went earlier. Mm. And there, you see a man um, lathered in layers of uh, animal skin with a staff, a uh, wooden staff that has a curl at the tip of it, and various vines going through it as well. He has long, um, uh, braided white hair. Gray hair, I should say, so that means he's growing old in years. And he has various markings on his face, a very chiseled jaw, um, pointy jaw as well. Pointy chin, I should say. Um, a very stern look to his face. He said, Now all ma ipe yune sempu. These times are uncertain. The tribe's totem is gone. You should not go beyond the bear. He looks over at Iwani. Go home. I must speak to my daughter alone. Iwani nods her head and gets off the uh, stag and looks down and makes her way, <laughs> uh, scurrying with both her arms by the side. Your father sighs. He says, I don't want to make my visit a dull one. It is your keeping me my yard. And I have wonderful news. I have finished negotiating a unification with the Itan tribe. The chief of the Itan tribe has offered his son to the chief as a sign of peace. Don't you remember him? He was that young boy that used to play with you when I visited the Eton track. He is now tall, strong, <laughs> capable warrior. His name is Taka Uri. Taka Yeah, he says to you, my beautiful daughter, please listen to me. Sighs again. He walks up closer to you and says, Enough of this talk. I want to bestow you a gift. After all, it is your ink in my yard. He smiles. He then pulls out a uh, underneath all of his layer of um, gross, uh, beautiful, um, um, certainly mystical object that you've never seen before. A diamond-shaped um, necklace. In the middle of it is a, an encryption of um, some sort of uh, hieroglyphs you've never seen before. 
uh, and it has antlers uh, embedded in the uh, the side of the dragon that's um, holding it together. Uh, it's a necklace, and he says to you, "I want to bestow a gift uh, to you for your Inca and Maya. Your mother told me to give this to you when it is your time." She wore this during our wedding. And she was very fond of this. Look down at it and smile and touch it. You know, mom. (laughs) (laughs) Missing mom face. Um. Do you say anything else? I don't think so. I think I would just sit down and he says, um, preparation for tonight will be underway for you in Kermaya. I can't wait to see my beautiful daughter grow. He smiles and then proceeds to leave, to leave you to your own device. With that being said, would you like to do anything? Um, can I get clar- clarification on what the Maya is? Is it? Oh, it's your. It's basically your mother from the age. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um. I. I mean, I. I think she's hanging out with the stags for a little longer. Okay. To kind of process everything, but nothing else really. Nothing important. Okay. Well, certainly. Um. As you take your time. Uh. You find some solitude with the uh, stags and the animals around. We're going to move the scene over to uh, your Drew. Uh, Drew, your character is in a small hamlet. Oh, wait, that's not, I keep saying small hamlet. The hamlet's already small. Um, you're in <laughs> a smaller hamlet. <laughs> a smaller hamlet. Um, uh, you find yourself in a hamlet uh, and passing by on your long, arduous journey to the to the east. Most of the civilization you are accustomed to are here in the West. The East is very, um, it's very much uncharted. Your seat, your pursuit of knowledge have led you on the crossroad here. You decided to take a break. After all, your little tiny legs can't travel that far. <laughs> um, you find yourself in a small um, resting area with humble chairs that are like the stools that, that even fit you. You sit on it and the table's about the height of your forehead, but, you know, they're... you look around and you see a bunch of various men, uh, from traders to merchants, um, from children to wives, all working hard in the day. You see two noticeable men that Kind of made a ruckus in this area, in this humble home. You see a man, a stout looking man with a large square head that sits on his shoulder, almost hiding his neck. He's a gruffy looking man. He wears leather, um, uh, leather kind of padded vest with a dirty undershirt, revealing the untamed hair growing from his chest. <laughs> he carries a sword around his waist and many other daggers and swords. He kind of stumbles upon you, and right next to him is, uh, you can only assume, his friend. A skittish man, literally scratching his neck, with long neck and a very, very small face, um, with blonde, dirty blonde hair, but it's always so wet from the amount of sweat that comes out of this man. <laughs> his face is always dirty and has scars, uh, uh, and he has a scar that uh, on the right corner of his mouth that did not heal well. He wears a loose, damp shirt that seems too big on him. Ew. And small <laughs> arm guards that looks finely crafted. Why? He carries a short sword on his side. Uh, and wears a very, very, very lavish belt and arm guard. <gasps> he looks around and follows this man as if he is like a long lost dog. This man finally goes up to you, leans on the table, with a jar in his hand, and says, <clears throat> I'm looking for somebody. 
Damn, we on my adventure. Everybody here looks to be afraid. A little man like yourself must have fallen. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm not anxious to get here. Uh huh. <laughs> War going on and everything. I thought you might be the guy. Lands the paper down on the table. He says, I'm looking for this artifact. You're right here. An old man haunted it. Says deep in the vale of the forest. Nobody goes in at all. Nobody comes out alive. So they say. Off accident there. Lord is flitting. We'll see. This guy, this guy's pretty big, right? Um, he stands about uh five five, um, and weighs about like roughly maybe two two thirty. He's a pretty stout okay. looking man. All right, so Top Doc, pretty much who's been sitting there probably tinkering with something on his hands. His hair, every which direction, because that's just how his gnomish ways go. We'll look at that and just kind of peer for a long second. And then go, hmm. Well, talk to comic like to help. You say, artifact? His eyes kind of go a little bug-eyed at that, like, moment, because he's, like, just staring at deep through his eyes. What kind of artifact? Um, as you say that. The skittish man finally leans in behind this uh, roughy looking and stout looking man's back uh, over his shoulder and just and scratching his neck. I told you, I told you, listen, I told you, listen, he's a real fella. <laughs> and me. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what um, a pan. As he says that, why don't you go ahead and describe me your character? Okay. So, talk up. Is a a what? Can you spell your character's name? T A K T A K. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. He's a gnome. He's at least like four foot. I think four foot one is what I made him. And he's wearing. Kind of common clothes. I mean, he's got his little, uh, kind of goes like some kind of like leather armor that he has on, but most of it seems like it's a little burnt or scratched. Maybe like he's seen a lot of battle, or maybe something he was messing with keeps blowing up in his face. It's kind of hard to tell. And he's just kind of always got like a little bit of a gleam in his eyes. He's like always has something in his hands that he's kind of fidgeting with. He doesn't look like he sits still very well. He's got, uh, so is he, uh, he's got, I forgot what color eyes he gave him, ah, auburn, so he's got kind of like these reddish eyes, and his hair's kind of like a light green, it almost looks like it shouldn't even be that color, it just got that way over time with things <laughs> happening to it. <laughs> And like I said, it's kind of long, but it stands like straight up and goes in every direction like a troll doll in the 80s. <laughs> All right. And Talk Talk, as soon as somebody mentions uh, about him being strange, he's just going to look over at the man, just nodding up and down. Oh, yes, yes, strange is my specialty. I'm always here to help. Now, what about that artifact? I, I can see that you're interested. I'll tell you what. This sort of fucked here, if we returned it to the Fort Borne, <sighs> we'll, be, we'll be reaping rewards. About 4,000 gold worth. 4,000 gold? Shit! <laughs> 4,000 each of us. To each? Or split? I mean, I'm sorry, split. Okay, I was like, holy oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I was like, damn. That was good say. Deal. Doc's just gonna rub his uh, scruffy little chin a little bit. 
Hmm. I could use more money. It does help with buying more things to put together. Hey, uh, oh, uh, 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 all right, we got ourselves <laughs> another one. Uh, oh, he's not. When you were watching me make a little fellow of ours, a little tight, doesn't seem to do much. Uh, mm, but, but <laughs> fine fellow over there. And you see him, uh, a man um, kind of slowly walking up to you. Uh, go ahead and finally describe your character, Kip. Okay, so you see a like six foot tall human guy with um, kind of like uh, longish uh, black hair. Um, and like blue eyes, but the most distinguished like feature is that he has uh, a really kind of deep scar that goes like from his cheek up to his hairline and like through his eye. Um, mm. and one of uh that be on his right side, and that eye is blind, so it's like a lighter blue, and then his other eye is just uh a very vibrant blue. Um, he has fair skin that's been tanned by the sun, and he wears armor and has a long sword on his back and. Um, he looks like he's been adventuring. He has, like, a backpack with, um, supplies on it for long trips. Uh, he has, like, light scars, um, on his visible skin. Like, he's seen a lot of battles. Um, he looks to be around, like, like, 19-ish, 20-ish. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's... Okay. All his noticeable traits. Um, what would you say when you find it? When you <laughs> <laughs> when you finally arrive. Um, uh, I'll walk up to the new little guy and be like, "Tag, tag, what is it?" And I'll hold out my hand to like do a handshake. Oh yeah, and I forgot. So he's not four foot one. He's three foot one. So yeah. <laughs> I was gonna be like, he's "Damn, a, we like uh, tall, tall, no." Three <laughs> one. Okay, yeah. Well, you're sitting on the chair, so... Yeah. Yeah, I hold out my hand to shake your hand. Ah, no, no, no. Tac, tac. No, wait, is that what you said? Maybe that's what I said. Who said that? Tac, tac, talk, talk. Tac, tac, talk, talk. Tac, tac. Nah, no, tac, tac. Tac, tac. And then he grabs your hand and just starts shaking it vigorously. I haven't seen your kind around here. What you doing all the way over here? No. He's going to look around the room as if trying to spot somebody else like him. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, I wonder. I have to find new places to get new stuff from. Lots and lots of stuff. Everything needs to go in the pockets. Uh, the skittish man kind of pressed his chest against the uh, gruffy looking man and says, I told you, I told you I'll find it all, guys. I told you. You, you didn't trust me. You failed him. You didn't trust me. I told you I could do it. Well, you picked the right guys. When should we be heading out? Uh, by this time, he says, uh, you guys know who they are. The, uh, the stout man introduced himself as Arch, and the kind of skittish man introduced himself as Beak. Arch? Arch and Beak. Okay. Yeah. Beak. Sweaty man. <laughs> Arch then says to you, all right, but I'll go to this here. I am the frickin' leader around here, and I'll tell you what to do. I run the ship. Oh, I'm sorry, he was there. I run the church. <laughs> I run the ship. All right. <laughs> I run everything here. I'm the captain. I'm gonna get that straight. I hold up my hands like, no problem. Yeah. They have talked that doesn't even do anything. just kind of, eh, shrugs. Then he, um, good. Oh, I'm gonna head out right away. It's gonna take about half a day travel to get to the horse anyway. Do we have horses? No, we don't have horses. Are you an idiot? Can't afford horses around here. What do you think I do this for? Nah, you're worse than this guy. Come on now, Bing, hurry up. Let's get going. Right down, right behind you, boss. I guess, uh, can, does this establishment sell any, like, supplies? Um, it's a hamlet, so they don't offer a lot, um, of supplies, but usually, um, people who stays here pays a patronage to the, uh, establishment to kind of keep it up. 
but it's small fee. Is there any place in this little hamlet that sells like healer kits? Really no. Fuck. <laughs> Could I have said I bought one before my journey with my gold? Sure. Cool. How much gold will it have been? Uh, we have ten gold. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm poor now. Yay! Yay! All right. So, you guys, you guys uh, follow Arch and Blink, Bink, all the way to uh, the forest. Um, and they call it Mistvale Forest. Mistvale Forest. Yeah. Uh, all right. And with that being said, I'm going to shift you guys over to. Actually, I don't have to. The long and arduous journey into the forest is actually not as bad as it seems. You guys cross the um, plains so you can get to the forest line, uh, to your forest line uh, that you wanted to go to, Mistvale Forest, and the plain is booming with animals, largely buffaloes, grazing across the plains off in the distance. The herd of buffaloes are in the thousands, if you dare not to disturb them. You enjoy the sight of all these animals grazing in these beautiful rolling plains. The journey um, didn't take too long, but a half day's journey to the forest line. You can also see it off in the distance. When you arrive in the forest, the forest tree line um, to enter has various trees that are tall and lengthy, and it has this luscious, luscious brown bark with the soil soft. And muddy, probably from the recent rain. Arch finally says to you when he arrives at the tree line. All right, Big Mountain, it's your turn. You you go in first. We're just gonna send him in. I'm talking about you. Go in first. Oh, <laughs> you have a muscle. When he showed us <laughs> the picture, did it show? I assume it showed us what the, the artifact Oh yeah, 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 I'm so sorry. The artifact is a, um, is a, uh, large statuette with, um, wings, uh, or like a wooden, um, uh, wooden wings protruding out of this, like, uh, dome, uh, sort of like a square-like statue. And, um, it has, the statue has engravings and markings on it to make it look like a, uh, an owl. Ooh. Uh, so you say large. Like a, How large is large? Like, um, like, like large? um, the picture only depicts. Uh, it looks pretty small in the picture, but um, I mean, you you must have talked to Arch along the way, and he probably tells you like it's said to be about um, about your size, like to like about your size. Three feet. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Still large for talk talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's is a pretty it big toy. Tack tack or talk talk. It's talk talk. Talk like talking. Talk. Okay. Talk, talk. Got it's it. So T A K T A K, right? Yeah. Okay. Talk, talk. Talk, talk. And you can put a lot of different ways of saying it. So trust me. Okay, Don't feel I bad just, about saying it tomorrow. I just want to make sure I had it spelled right. I'm writing it as talk, talk, so I don't forget. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> talk, talk. Talk, talk. Um, talk, talk. Uh, you and Theoden. Uh, which, by the way, your character would introduce yourself. Oh, yeah, I would have said my name. Yeah. Theo didn't. Oh, okay. But you can call me Theo. I'm just going to take a moment, look at you, and be like, Theo. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So you go in the forest first, Theo? Yep. Okay. You enter this forest, and though the trees are not wide enough to hinder your view, but off in the distance, the mist veil, the name of the forest, covers uh, about, uh, you can only see 60 feet in, into the forest. Could I have done something before we got in the forest? Oh. I would like to put my hand, like, on a tree mm-hmm. and, like, say, like, a silent prayer uh-huh. <laughs> um, of, like, give me entry, or, like, please give me entry, mm-hmm. light my way or something. Yeah, okay. As you sound up, Chad Mimicker. As both of you silently, uh, or him, him, uh, <laughs> as you both silently uh, press your hand against the tree bark, um, talk talk. You're you're kind of like you know, looking 
Actea Theo as a reference, um, not knowing what he's saying because he's whispering under his breath. Oh yeah. Um, Theo, you whisper a silent prayer. I offer you guidance. And now she goes, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, gotta find the dang artifact. Got it, got it. I'm fine. Bunch of pansies. Wolf tree lovers. He looks at Finn and says, never trust them. Trust him, boss. Tree lovers are good. <laughs> Finally, uh, Theo makes his way in. And Taco, he follows uh, behind as well. Absolutely. All right. Does he need to be told to? <laughs> he walks. Uh, I just want to know the marching order. Uh, yeah, yeah. As you guys both enter the forest, and about sixty feet in, you can only see uh, the the veil of mist protecting you beyond your beyond six feet. Are they not joining us? Oh, they are, but they're oh. like they're like so scared. They're like walking slowly, and you see this kiddish man even scarier. He's like, <gasps> my God, he's been peeing too. <laughs> he pulls out his short sword preemptively already, and you see uh, uh, Arch does the same thing. He pulls out his long sword. Uh, can I try to like calm them a little bit? Be like, hey, 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 you're bringing bad karma right here. Just put it away. <laughs> hey, oh, don't tell you how to live. You don't tell me how to live, you freaking tree lover. Gosh, damn that tree huggers. Wait, why do we find these people? I don't know. Have Maybe. you ever been in the forest before? I have. I kind of like raise my eyebrow. Just shut up and lead the way. <sighs> Wait. Um, I'm just gonna try to like keep up following the path. You can hold trees all you want and die from it. That's what I'm gonna hold my sword with me. Protect me. Talk Talk's going to be kind of like following in a zigzag line, like right behind Theo. But while they're having this discussion, just kind of be like, Other man doesn't like trees. He won't like it later if he sees what they do. Oh, what do they do? You know, there's creatures in here. The savage ones. They can't start oh. gadgets. The tree roots, they can come up and grab you and pull you into the ground. So just... What? Be careful where you step, you know. I'm just gonna immediately run up to a tree and start digging in the dirt. No, don't disturb <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, oh. As you do that, everyone like jumps up. He's like, "Who did you find? What did you find?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna throw his hands up in the air and then go back to his position behind you. Oh, okay, no touch. At least for now. Maybe touch later. Yes, touch later. Must find. Must find. Oh, that would be good. What did you find? Ah, I can handle these idiots. What did you find? Nothing. Nothing yet. Go away, boss. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. <sighs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trust me, you'll know if something comes. Creatures. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys lead in beyond, um, as you make your way towards the veil, you finally reach the curtain of where the veil cuts off the rest of the world. It's poof, um, it's a plume of mist. It's so thick that it's almost touchable. Um, but when you go in to reach your hand out, it's just mist. I think we're at the edge, guys. Uh, if you want to stay safe, Stay next to me. Within five feet. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Because I'm I'll protect you. Well, that's what I thank you for. Tucker is standing here right in front of the mist, kind of waving his hands to him through it, just to see what it does. The cooling mist uh, graces your fingertips. I want to have my shield, though. Ready? Not my weapon, just my shield. Your shield, okay. Okay, just getting ready. You know. Be prepared. I guess I'll make the first hesitant step through the, the veil. As you make the first hesitant step, you hear a, 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 a noticeable sound. Go, oh! And you see your arch go, Come on, boss! Close your eyes, close your eyes! Alright, one, 
And he, he kicks his axe, uh, tak tak in first. <laughs> talk talk. Or talk talk in first. Um, and talk talk, you go in and you hear the sound of. He <laughs> kicked through the window. Yep. And. Uh, and Arch goes. Oh, I don't like that sound. Boss. What are the artifacts, boss? What are the artifacts? Oh, I, all right, all right, all right, all right. Put that in the artifacts. Okay. <laughs> he goes in and you hear the. So this is a bink. We both enter. And as you guys um, all enter, you feel like a force of wave pushes you forward into the uh, beyond the mist as you end up in a beautiful forest um, with wider, the, the tree barks being a little bit wider, um, the trunks I should say. And the um, trees with luscious greeneries and leaves laid about. The day is still midday. Uh, it's getting closer to dusk. As the sun sets, it gleams uh, over the top of the forest trees, um, giving you a beautiful sight to hold. But still, light is very, um, it's going to be a problem for you guys. Um, as you guys arrive on the other side, you hear a sound of. Like arrows? Uh, no. Oh, like okay. She's coming out of the mist. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh shit. That was faster than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ground is layered with moss, and you've never seen a sight like this before. Arch looks around and says, Oh, even a man like him can admire a beauty like this. I've never been this deep in the forest before. Well, boss, I think I might like it here. Shut up. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Arch says, or are you stuck with ranger tree loving thing? What will we do next? Uh, start looking, trying to look around in the dim light. I guess light. <laughs> I'll pull out a torch. Ugh, where's Skeets? I light a torch. You light a torch, you can look around. <laughs> I have a torch and a shield. Okay. Yeah. Um, the tech tech, uh, talk talk, you can see um, in just fine. <laughs> I was going to say, she wants a magical darkness, I do a dark face release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm blind in one eye, so we're going in. <laughs> 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 <That's a mess>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to, like, see, like, is there, like, hmm, where would they have an artifact? So I'm going to look for, like, the oldest looking part of the forest. Yeah, yeah. Um, make a survival to... check for me at this point. Ooh, I almost took survival. Uh, you're not proficient. You have to roll. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. If you guys are not... Uh, certain skill checks that requires like deep proficiency, you guys would have to have any proficiency to either roll it or to roll it. Um, uh, and if you don't have it, you would roll at a disadvantage. Yeah. First one is 11, so 17, so that makes it 11. 11, all right. <laughs> Not horrible. Actually, kind um, of horrible. The, Theo, um, you led the group in a um, search for this artifact with no clues prior. Yeah. Just roaming the forest. Yeah, you know. It feel you feel like Arch didn't do a really good job asking where it might be. So here you guys are, yeah. looking for a needle in a haystack. I mostly yeah. went so they wouldn't die. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, you're making progress by searching through the forest, with unhinged and undisturbed. The calming forest is a bit eerie to you, at least to you. But to everyone else, their guards are let down. Arch even puts his blade away and Bink as well. When dusk finally, um, when night finally arrives and the moon rises, you decide to find a place for everyone to camp safely. In a small area where um, the trees are slightly farther apart, but the forest, uh, the tree leaves uh, kind of protect you from the visible light so you have a campfire set up as well as some bedrolls inside arch and being carry their own stuff um and set up their tent you see arch is like having a hard time because he gets so easily frustrated like you know yeah. one of his tents is not standing up properly and you can totally see why the problem is just you know put the stick up a little higher i'll, I'll calmly try to keep him calm and help him arch kind of like you know suck up his pride to say thank you yeah i give that very charismatic smile Hey, you're walking up the wrong tree. I don't roll that way. All right, my ladies. 
Hey, hey, it's not like that. He's trying to be helpful. He nods his head. Um, so, with that being said, uh, you guys decided to make camp and rest here for the night. Um, as you do, the, um, fire crackles silently in the silent, uh, in the, in the, um, quiet night. I want to know who's keeping watch. I'll keep watch. First watch. Is it getting darker or is it just consistently dark? Uh, it's dark right now. Do I feel like it's going to get lighter later? Mm. My second watch? Probably. Probably? Okay, I'll wait. Most likely. Like, talk, talk, you seem better in the, the darkness. Maybe you could take first watch? Be really helpful. Uh-huh. But of course. You know, I don't have the best eyesight. I'll All take the right. second one. I'll start I will watch everything. Start taking off my armor. Okay. You take off your armor and talk to you um, decide to take first watch. So I'm going to have you make a perception check for your first watch. Are you, prof- right. are you proficient in this time? Negative. Alright. <laughs> just give me your uh, straight up roll. I, I just want to know. Okay. And 11. 11. The way we're doing it tonight. 13. Oh, nice. 13. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I'm so used to everyone rolling on roll 20. It's so nice to have players actually roll dice. So I'm sorry. Kind of <laughs> sorry, side note. I was like, what do I need real time for? Um, uh, basics just for the map. Uh, See, pretty much it's the opposite with me. Like, every time I have to play D&D, they always want to use roll 20, which I'm fine with nowadays, but it's the first time I've rolled down real dice in so long. That's so nice! I know! Got one of those click clashes bouncing around in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. As you're watching throughout the first watch, um, The wind blows silently, the ear blows silently, and the breeze warms your nose, I mean, I mean cools your nose, <laughs> um, with its loving embrace. But other than that, your watch might not be meant for the most part. Yay! You rolled a 13, you said, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Cool. So, let's go back over to Kaylin. All snap. Actually, no, wait. No, wait. Before you want us to die off. first. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> before, we go, before we go back to Kaylin, I'm going to take a, a real quick pee break. You're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then death. <laughs> Got it. Yay! Yay! So far, we lived. We can make it to the end. That's what I hope. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh. Yeah. What inspired yeah, you to make talk talk? Uh. So I do a lot of uh, video game role play, and so like my early days of life, I did D and D and Vampire the Masquerade, all kinds of tabletops, and then later on. I did text-based role-playing and stuff, and then video game role-playing, which, like, I don't know if you've heard of games like Ark and Conan and oh, okay. Dark and Light, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, you just play the game, but you speak as the character, and it was, like, my first time having to do voices. And one of the characters I had was kind of a character named Sezik, who was an alchemist, and I just always loved him. But I didn't really get to play him really in D&D, because, hey, I can't be in so long. Except more recently. And really, Artificial wasn't really around back then. Yeah, that's me. So once this popped up, I was like, oh, I wonder if I can bring him here. Bring him back. I love playing new things. I'm mean, usually my class is like a humans and a clerics. What? But... <laughs> oh, no. I know I did my, what is it, half elf cleric in our other campaign. I heard. I like healing people. Yeah, me too. We may find some issues in this campaign with it, but you know. It's we'll see how the three of us survive. I think we'll survive. 
I, I think we will we'll be okay. Yeah. I'm a Ruby ranger shows after all. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby shows uh, Yeah, that was pretty much it, because I was excited to play a new class and a new race. I've never been a gnome before. I'm like, yes. Yes, all the tinkering. Like anything other than elves and half-elves. <laughs> I cannot say <laughs> anything different. I am always. <laughs> I'm so many half elves, I have so many. It's ridiculous. I am mostly half elves. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kay was my first like elves. Oh no, I have a druid elf, and I never get to play it with them. Oh. Yeah, I have half elves. Two half elves, two humans, and an elf. Wow, look at me go. Look at you! <laughs> Yeah, that's You're all staying in that little uh, two race combo. <laughs> I guess so. I have a Gen Genesis Manassi. Oh, I've never gotten to play before. Oh, yes. that's a good one. I'm on the site of Steam because. Yes. Because of me, dude. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah! I was like, I want to play Human Pleb! <laughs> <laughs> With my blind eye. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> Can I stand on your blind side and make faces at you? Yeah, you could. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> no, he's like fully blind in that eye. <laughs> oh my god. Which yeah. I incorporated oh. into his minus one decks, so he can't see it oh. coming. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's a good fighter, except when it comes from his right. <laughs> love it. Don't mess with my boy. Now on, you feel like your eyes. Like, Coming from the left. <laughs> it's like I can see the left. Tongue is coming from the right. Talk, talk. Yeah. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My <laughs> other <laughs> eye. It's my <laughs> other eye. <laughs> I always like to play characters with like, like uh, difficult. Like, I don't know, what's the word for it? Disadvantages in some way? Yeah, flaws. Like yeah they have flaws. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna be real. Kayla's like the most OP character I've ever played. I'm, <laughs> I'm so hyped for it, too. <laughs> we need your oak. <laughs> I did not roll that good. <laughs> that was so good. I was only okay because I'm a human, so I got to add a plus one to two of my stats, and I was like, okay, we, we got something, but the minus one to a fighter hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I rolled like nothing but 14. Oh, nice. Like, Not really. Like, like, I got a 7 on one of mine. Holy shit. Oh, so, no. I got a 10 with my stats. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay, okay, good. That's why you're the warrior princess. We need you. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, I don't have character tokens for you guys just yet, so. Working on it. Give us random pictures. Okay. I found a picture that looks like it. No. On Pinterest yesterday. I guess I should have sent it. Here, here. I sent. I sent to you. Do, do, do. I will just have. Mm -mm. This would be. I don't even know. I'm getting there. It's like a really blurry picture, though. I sent it to your Instagram. Hey. Yeah, it was just on Pinterest. <laughs> it is you. Okay, so. Um, uh, talk, talk. Um, let's go. Let's back, get back into the game. Okay. 13. All right. We're ready for death. All right. So, um, <laughs> what's what's your passive? Uh, um, passive perception. Yeah, mm -hmm. passive perception. Everyone's passive perception. Yeah. You, Ten. You, you, Ten. Okay. <laughs> I'm blind. What's your passive? Mine. No. Um. Talk talk talk. talk. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're good at other <laughs> things. Gosh, Kaylin. Sorry, sorry. Am I too distracted? <laughs> we can't be good at everything. Okay. 
Uh, talk, talk. So, your watch went mostly uneventful until towards the end of your watch. Oh, I'm And you're switching over to Theo. As you're about to wake up, Theo, you hear the sound of heavy breathing off the distance. Shit. Uh, but see nothing, I'm guessing. Uh, you look around, uh, try and make another perception check, but this time at a disadvantage. Okay. Only because you failed the first one. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, <laughs> that would have been better to the disadvantage. So, uh, three <laughs> plus two is five. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Top of in his boots. Are you breathing again? As you say that to Theo, he does not seem to wake up. Uh oh. We gonna die. Then slowly he he gets up. Okay. Oof. <laughs> I was saying, I'm dead. just suddenly, like, you know, slowly kind of start shoving a little bit on the leg. You open yeah. your eyes to see a crazy uh, hair <laughs> up. <laughs> <gasps> oh, it's talk talk. Guess it's my turn. It's like get up <laughs> and like start trying on my armor. As Unless he says something. No, no. <laughs> talk, talk. Uh, do you go to bed? Uh, well, I still heard breathing that wasn't Theo, right? Right. Yeah. So, Talk Talk's just gonna kind of like, want you put on your armor and be like, Now, by the way, Theo, somebody's breathing out there. Okay. What do you mean? I mean breathing. Into the nose, out the nose. Into the nose, out the nose. Can I try to like look around and listen? Because it's too dark to make see. Make perception? I don't want to listen. I want to listen, not see. Are you proficient? No. <laughs> <laughs> I almost picked that too. So disadvantage? No. Oh, nice. Well then, I fucking rolled good with a plus zero. That'd be 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Um, yeah. More than 18, you see... Um, Ooh, you hear the sound of um, growling um, in between your breath. <sighs> and it's about um, 15 feet away from you. 15 feet? Oh my Hiding god. Trees. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do I have my armor on yet? Uh, no. Fuck! <laughs> god damn it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh, it was a fun game, guys. But no, but that's what you do. Um, nothing, yeah, it's just watching us, right? It's just it's not moving so far. Nothing, nothing's moving. Does it feel hostile, or is it just watching us? You can't tell, but it's certainly not a creature. Of uh... has yeah. this ever happened to me before in my travels? Um, make a history check, you can. Soft 20. Unless it's disadvantage. Yeah, um, you remember the, uh, oh yeah, are you proficient? No! Okay. Disadvantage? No, no, you still roll high enough. Okay. Um, the, well, you hear the sound of, uh, these before. I mean, during your travels as a warrior, as a soldier, they sound very similar. Heavy breathing, growling, could mean either bear, Animals or a band of ravagers. I'm gonna go with worst case scenario. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's the ravager. You know, ravagers are 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 predators. And they hunt. So, and this is their hunting ground. Okay. Usually forest side. <laughs> okay. Um. Do I know? Do they usually travel in a pack or? Do they they travel in small bands or by themselves? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't notice it. Uh, but whisper to uh Top Top and be like, "You're right. Something's breathing out there. I think it's a ravager. Just pretend like we don't notice. Start to get ready." Shall we wait for the others? Not yet, we'll freak out. <laughs> That's true. 
I'm gonna try to pump so, him. Okay. You can talk, put it on faster. Talk talk. Yeah. yeah. Talk talk. Can you help? I like. Right. I'm putting on my armor and like motion to my armor. I would jump up and start flying slightly. <laughs> <laughs> and as talk talk, if I'm able to. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start, you know, helping to attach the armor to the tying and stuff like that. Sure. But pulling out of a pouch, can I actually use one of my abilities for it? Um. What ability are you trying to use? Ah, uh, well, let me find it here. If you use one or try to use one of the Because they can turn normal stuff into magic stuff. Right. And I've got one armor. And I can do it for somebody else as long as they just attune it to themselves. Attune. Okay, let me see. Um, I w- I've only say this because I believe attunement costs an hour to do. Oh, does it? Yeah. It might. I'm trying, trying to find some information on it real quick. I should have done this with me first into the forest. Oopsies! <laughs> New class. Yes. It's okay. Ah, oh, classic top top. <laughs> you were too interested in the roots you mentioned. Forgot all about it. <laughs> I'm trying to find it here in this crazy camera sheet. Where is it? Um, so there's like four I can choose from infusion lift, right? That's what they're called. Yeah. And one's enhanced defense. You can gain a plus one bonus to armor class while wearing armor or wielding a shield. The infused item does not tell me a good time on this one. Also, oh, you pick infu- you pick infusion gnome or infuse item. Infusing an item? Yeah. It was called Enhanced Defense. Pretty much, I can make the uh, give it a plus one bonus armor class. I think that's uh, I think that's the wizard. Oh, you level two, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I it just should be at the right beginning. Enhanced defense. Can you find it? Uh. Yeah, you get to pick one, right? My first level. Oh, oh yeah, you do. You have infused item. I have four that I got to choose at second level because it let me do it to enhance defense, enhance weapon. I got the replicate magic item, which is bag of holding, and then enhanced uh, arcane potion. Yeah, and as I pretty much perfectly enhanced, uh, I try to do it somewhere else. You know, I can't have like two things with the enhanced events on or something like that. You find it? Yeah, I I, fi- I found it, but I'm I'm trying to figure out um, How works. at what level do you get? Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you can enhance it. Yeah, you're right. Enhanced defense, right? I mean, is there any special rules for like length of time or anything like that, or can you just like ban that? Uh, no, 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 you're good. So infuse item. Um, so what happened is you have to uh, finish a long rest. Yeah, so whenever you finish a long rest, you can touch a non-magical object and imbue it with one of your artificer infusions, turning into a magic item. So this, it does take a quite a bit of time, actually. So this is a prep ability. I gotcha. And we definitely wake up tomorrow. If we wake up tomorrow. If. <laughs> no, it still works. Well. So well, yeah, no. Three dashes. Oh yeah, no, it'll be the next day. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's gonna take a. Uh, our fisters are uh, prep it's class. Like an so. hour. Or so? Yeah, no, it takes about longer than that. Okay. And depending on the infuser, but most likely it says whenever you finish a long rest, so you have to be doing it for quite a bit of time. 
Okay. So pretty much, it's you. After they wake up in the morning, it's like the first thing you do in the day, kind of thing, right? Uh, no. I'm. Um, it's it's under the assumption that you're working it on the previous day before, and then up until the next day. So. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming about six hours. Six hours. Oh uh, yeah, because the um the infusers last forever. Oh. So you take it off or move it somewhere else? No. No. It's just it lasts it's forever. Awesome. Yeah, it's just like forever. So for now, he can literally give you a plus one bonus armor class. Are you sure? Armor. Because I think at the very bottom it says it gets re undone at a long loss. Indefinitely, your infusion remains on the item indefinitely until you end it as a bonus. But when action, you die, the infusion it. finishes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. So, okay. Well, you're fine. So he has to take six hours before long rest because you need the the eight hours to sleep during. And long it's rest. it's assuming during your your long rest. Your long yeah. Okay. So it, it takes about a day to do so. Sounds. But rightfully so, it's indefinite. Next day. Yeah. I'll try to yeah. live. I'll make you live for sure. <laughs> Well, I just put on my armor and just keep my yeah. ear open to hear if that guy is getting closer. Uh, okay. So it takes half of... It takes five minutes to put it on. Okay, so it takes you about five minutes to put it on. And it looks like um, the creatures don't do much uh, cool. during that five minutes. And, uh, talk, talk, you finish putting on the armor, what do you do next? You finish putting on, help, help putting on the armor, what do you do next? Alright. Talk, talk, will put down his little six inch cube that he carries around with his belt. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to turn some of the gears as it slowly opens up a little bit, a little dark inside. He reaches his hand in further than it should, and then he's going to pull out, and I assume he's just well, gadgets, because in order to cast spells, he doesn't really like cast spells. He uses devices that do the same thing, right? Um, yeah. I kind of got what I've got from the description of it. Yeah. So, like, you know, he's casting fireball, he's throwing some little metal thing that explodes like a fireball. Okay. So, in that case, I was assuming he would have, because the spell I took for him was firebolt. So, he's going to have, like, this little, like, Elongated sling looking thing with like a little scope at the end, and it's kind of weird looking. It's got coils around it, but he's gonna pull that out, and he's just gonna kind of look around since that's all he can really do at the moment. Okay. Uh, we'll get the and be like, "So what are we doing?" Oh, now that I'm all settled, I think we should get it. Can, oh. we, can you see it? I kind of nod which direction I heard it in. Yeah, you heard it about north of you. Or she nods, so I see it. Make a perception check with advantage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 17 plus 2, so 19. Yeah, oh my god, 19. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to move you guys over to the map. Not first, you'd be like, how did I miss that before? <laughs> Yeah, Alright. So, uh, you guys um, are in a pretty dense forest with trees laid about. Talk, talk. You look north of you and you kind of hone in on where to look. And you see a creature, a humanoid uh, creature, standing um, with an axe by its side, um, waiting for something and staring at you. Uh, his stealth is not very stealthy, um, <laughs> compared to your, uh, your now, like, with renewed sense of visibility, you can now sense that this, uh, these creatures are definitely orcs. Oh, okay. Though, they, um, so if you, you, you technically your character would be from around here, and you know these orcs to be ravagers. Uh, Ravagers are like the um, a skinnier version of your D&D orcs, but they move faster in the forest and they are more wild. Okay. And um, finally, this you feel like this orc notice that you know notice that uh, you can see it. It smirks at you. Oh. 
and it raises its hand up. And you notice that uh, once it releases, you hear the loud grunting noise of creatures howling. <laughs> they all charge in at you. Oh my god, we need to run. <laughs> <laughs> that was no. I want, at this point, everyone to roll for initiative. Can I try to be like, oh, boys at Arkin. <laughs> Oh, you finally woke them up? Yeah. It's a little bit too late. I They're know, not pressed. I, I just say that. <laughs> I didn't think that they would notice him looking. Doc Doc's not really Arch stealthy. Yeah, I want to... He's very oblivious to being like... Arch and Pink. He's just be like staring right out of the side <laughs> eyes. <laughs> okay, that's for Arch. Oh, shit. Um, this is for okay. Bink. Wow, oh, Bink, Bink gets up. nervous. He's extremely yeah. skittish. All right, so... Um, what? Better <laughs> twelve on his initiative. Um. So twenty. Did anybody roll the twenty-five twenty? No. Twenty to fifteen. No. I assume I'm not rolling right. Uh. Give me one second. <laughs> um, you saved the day. Twenty. Twenty. No. Oh. 50, <laughs> okay. So I guess Bink goes first. Go Bink. <laughs> oh wait. No, I forgot to roll the yards. Yeah. Please roll the yards. Oh, oh don't <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Um, they roll high, and then Bink goes second. Yeah. Uh, then it is going to be uh, fifteen to ten. No. Oh wait, no, it was me. Twelve. Okay. Oop. Oop. Okay, and then uh, what did you roll? Nine. Nine? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my nice uh, minus one. Ooh, that's Real good. Yo. Real good. That's why I wanted my armor. <laughs> All right, so uh, I already put you in initiative, um, uh, Katie. So. Yeah, You're gonna have to save our butts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this these orcs uh, rushes in and sees you right away. It does not and oh what this orc sees him now. Which one is me and which one is Talk Talk? Talk Talk is the the guy with the wizard staff. Okay. And your bow. Yeah. Um. So this guy's gonna this orc is gonna go up to you, Talk Talk, and sees you because he's the one that notices you. The other orcs don't seem to notice you at all. This one, uh, supposedly, goes over here. Oof. Oh, I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> Oof. And this one goes over here. Hey, but we're fighting by the campfire! So I can see. Yeah. Oh, thank god. You know? This one goes... I know. Do I know? <laughs> this guy's gonna go over here. And this guy's gonna go over here. Two is gonna go on you. Um, nice. Thea. Thea. So these two will roll, yeah. try to roll to hit you. Talking this is going to be for the um, for the first guy and the second guy. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Um, that hits. Yeah, it does a uh, 24 and a 20 hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're going to take a total of... I'm down. <laughs> We're level two! <laughs> uh, total of... Um, Oh 19 God. damage. Holy fuck! <laughs> that's from two. That's from two. That's from two. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still up, but okay. I am near death. <laughs> uh, this orc right here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. Um. Oh, it's you, Tata. When when I see that, I hear that. I want to shield bash uh the hit away. Oh, Here's okay, okay, so as a reaction. Oh, I rolled two 19s. Fuck, I tried. Um, you tried. Um, it's gonna roll a. Oof. Uh, 12 damage, slashing damage on you. Hey, maybe the Lizzie right. is captives. Uh, Bink uh, wakes up and he's like, Who the boss? As he screams out, this orc sees this man screaming and attacks this man with advantage because he's prone. 
Ooh. Uh, hits pink. I'm dealing pink. Oh wow, only seven damage. Bink uh <laughs> Amazing. gets cut and you see him falling on the ground <clears throat> with his blood gushing out. He's like <clears throat> freaking out about his uh cut. Alright, now it's uh Bink's turn. Bink stands up, <clears throat> scurrying around for his blade. He finally pulls the blade out of his sack, uh knapsack, stands up and stabs him. Um Good job, Bink. Bink uh, out of fear, just like curling. Watch him crit fall. Oh, oh good boy! It, it hits uh, the orc and deals him oh max damage. Nice. The orc nice. <laughs> falls down to the ground dead. Because <laughs> freaking out, boss! Arch finally wakes up. <laughs> He's like, I'm no idea. He's freaking out when he wakes up to see the horrendous thing. He goes last. Though, so. Okay. All right. Now it is going to be um, Tok Tok. Your turn. All right. Ooh. I got one in front of me. Duck Duck's gonna bottle vial of something, shake it up like it's a soda can, and spray it all over uh, Theo. And it's gonna be kind of like an adhesive that helps close the wounds, so it's gonna be casting pure light wounds on you. Oh, thank you! Uh-huh. And. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost picky! Ew! <laughs> all right. uh, uh, 1d8 plus 3. Let's go! Ooh, you eight. got eleven. Eleven? Huh? How much? I rolled an eight. I get plus three to what it says. Okay, so, nice. that's a, so that's an eleven total, right? Yep. Right. I live. <laughs> I'm going down next hit, but you will survive. <laughs> oh God, no! Attack! Talk, talk. <laughs> um. Four hit points. I'll make it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Alright. So. Um. I just got a spellcaster. Talk to me. That'd be the end of your turn. You, have, you still have your bonus action and movement. Do you want to do anything with those? Uh, got anything I can do on bonus action? Let me double check. No, I'm going to kind of slouch down and. Lean up against Theo a little bit to try and hopefully not hit it, <laughs> but I do not want to go away and take an attack of opportunity. Okay. Alright, so. You hear the sound of. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, um. <laughs> oh, we live! Takes, takes a step back a little bit. Um. Looks at you and sees red and wants to finish you all right, guys off. Um, it's they're still going to try to hit you off. They you hear something uh, they're whispering in Orcish. Uh, anybody knows how to speak Orc? No. Goblin? No, I know Goblin. He know Goblin? Oh. He knows Goblin. Ah, okay. Uh off in the distance you hear um a goblin uh behind the trees over here. That's in in a in a uh Goblin to the orc. They're coming! Hurry, hurry! Finish them! We want food! Wow, were there food? Um, yeah. That's all you hear, uh, talk about. Okay. Theo, it is your turn. I'm gonna bonus action, second win! Woo! Oh, okay. Um, so that is, uh, I think a d10 plus probably. You know, not much. Eight, nine, ten. So that's the next one. Oh. Um, and then I'm going to attack the one that's next to Top Top. Um, okay. Try to. Uh, I yelled Top Top. I'm going to make an opening for you. Get ready to run. Uh, I'm going to try to hit it. Okay, roll a hit. <laughs> 
Go after well, no, not just the damage. No. Uh, I think. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. That hits. That misses. She. No. Uh. Seven damage. Oh, seven damage. Oh, they're still up. I'm an action surge and hit him again. <laughs> yeah. Yes, kill him. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, if one lost champion, uh, the toy hit. Natural nineteen. Natural nineteen hits. Yeah. Oh. Eleven damage. Oh yeah, you. How do you want to kill this guy? This guy's slaughtered. Uh, I want to try to. Uh, kind of step, like a long step in front of, uh, uh, Tok Tok and slash, uh, the guy's weapon and him. Yeah, um, as you make a step, uh, and as you take a step forward in front of Tok Tok and these two orcs by your, by, by your blind side about to come in, you preemptively pull up your shield to block their incoming attacks, giving you an opportunity to stab this guy, uh, this orc, um, not knowing that you were pre- Believing that you were preoccupied, did not believe in your skills, that you could uh, multitask, and you yeah. did. You stab this creature right in its stomach as it looks at you, <laughs> gushing out the blood. It falls down to the ground. And I'm like, kind of get the blood off. I'm like, go! <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, Arch, finally, uh, would that be on your turn? Yeah. Okay. Arch finally stands up, and he's freaking out. He's like, uh, 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 <laughs> um, he pulls out his uh, long sword and we swing at him. Oh, it hits the. Oh earth. wow, they're doing good. Yay. I'm so proud. You know that's not um, good. Um, yeah, that does quite a bit. Of, oh, sorry, I messed up. It's not. It's not he has a D10. Jesus Christ. Well, he's holding it too. Oh, many. okay. I forgot that's a thing. Uh, oh, I forgot that's. A but Next you time. have a shield. Oh yeah, true, true. Okay. Um. Okay. So this man is still up. This up still. They're doing good. Yeah, I'm proud. So, yeah. Good job. Um, the orcs uh, notice that their numbers are dwindling, um, and <laughs> see that you're too strong. They they go. <laughs> this orc uh, tries to attack. Um. Arch and finish him off. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Funny. Ah. oh. Mrs. Arch dodge out of the way just in time. Uh and then he it's is going to uh make his movement and run. Does Binks get an opportunity attack? Uh Bink it does not want it. Oh. He's so scared. Not even uh, Arch. How about Arch? Okay. Uh Arch? Arch is scared too. Oh. He just Come on, guys! You had him in the bag. Uh, this this or uh, this orc tries to swing at you and hopefully to take you home with it. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, it's gonna roll hit you. No. Uh, does it fourteen hit you? No. All right. The second one does a nine hit you. No. Oh okay. God. These two misses and decided to bolt as well. You have to buy me dinner first, boys. <laughs> I wanna I wanna hit on hit one of them. Okay. So go ahead. Roll the hit. Bloodthirsty right now. Ah, fuck. <laughs> uh, this is 16. 16 does it. Nice! <laughs> okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, Ten damage. Ten damage. Uh, yeah, you actually kill one. Oh, wow! <laughs> they only had 10 damage? Amazing. Babes! Come on, you guys could have killed me. Okay. So, well, we killed two. With that being said, you guys push to pursue. Uh, no. No? Although, can I still see them? Um, yeah, they're still running. Uh, in okay. to a point where they're going to be out of your line of sight. Okay. Yeah. We'll follow, but here's a little device. Pull back on the little string and let it go, and a little fire pole will go after him. Nice! Oh my god, you Oh yeah, which, which, uh, which one do you want to hit? The, the, one ran, the, one, the one that ran this way, or the one that ran this way? One that was trying to fuck with you. He was safe. Okay. So it would be this way. So go ahead and hit that one. This one right here. 16 plus. Oops, it's plus 5 here on D&D &D Go. So that's a 21 hit. 21, yeah, that hits. Oof. Roll for 
damage. It's a D10. Oh, a nine. Nine? Oh, that's so not close. enough to kill it, but it's almost dead. I did something this game. <laughs> it, it runs off. Um, so close. Okay, as you finish casting that spell, and you, now that both of the orcs are running, the other orc that you almost, that you almost killed are, is limping. Uh, but it finally, you lose the line of sight of it. Um, uh, I think your dark vision only goes up to 60 feet, or is it 120 feet? Dark speed. Because I'm not the edge of the, yeah. the rock dome. Okay. So, um, once it's past 60 feet, you lose sight of it. Um, and it's gone. Mm-hmm. I'll, like, get down on me and, um, be like, Talk, talk, you okay? Ah, oh, that's a deep one. I'm gonna take out my med kit and do the healer's feet. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Ooh, Give um, you some good HP back, bro. Yeah. So. Your max hit die would be, is it like how many you have, or is it like the uh, yeah, it's how many he has. So okay, he has so two, two hit dice. So, uh, eleven HP. Sweet. All right. Oh wait, no, we backed up the max. Nice. No, we got it. Oh, close. I'm one away. Oh, wow. damn. Should have rolled that. Um, okay. as you're as you're taking. It's taking um some time, about like five minutes or so, managing up Theo, and Theo's like looking over you and talking to you. You hear the sound uh that breezes through your ears. And then all of a sudden you hear uh big Oh Did he die? Uh you don't see him anymore. You oh, turn shit. over and you don't see him anymore. Archie is like what? Oh hey, Bink! I'm like, get down to the ground. Stay low. <laughs> he doesn't listen to you. He no. like he really doesn't believe in you, tree huggers. Yeah. He's like, gonna... <laughs> uh, I assume like if we crawl the ground towards like the tree, we might have better safety than sure. fire. Sure, so sure. I'll, I'll take Theo. Or I'll take Tok Tok. Uh-huh. I'll be like, we have to crawl over there for safety. Okay. Stop. Should not. Okay, I want you guys to both uh, Try and uh roll a stealth check for me. Are you guys proficient? No. Okay, just roll <laughs> roll straight up. Natural twenty. <laughs> but Where I have disadvantage because I'm wearing my armor. Oh, you do have disadvantage because you're wearing oh. your armor. <laughs> this hurts. So I my first I'm natural twenty is the only. Talk talk. What did you roll? Okay. I rolled a 14 plus 1, so I got a 15, but do I also roll a 15? <coughs> you're not wearing, uh, you're not wearing, um, you're wearing studded leather, right? I don't think studded leather has this advantage, so you're fine. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So. 15 for me. 13. 13. <laughs> okay, 13 and 15. Man, the natural 20! <laughs> uh, you, then, as you guys are crawling, you hear Arch go, He's gone as well. I kind of wince as I hear them get taken. I'm like, uh, just like trying to keep uh, Tok Tok safe. Yeah, as you guys fall to this tree, you you rest your back against the tree, and all of a sudden you hear the um, Tok Tok. You feel a, a grasp um, hung around your neck, and you get pulled up. Who? <laughs> By Tok Tok? Well, I was trying to protect him. I'm trying to. Uh, y- y- I was like keeping my eyes out for him. No, like, it's so the, the thing is like they, my protection. The thing is like they you did not see it coming. Okay. Because um I just see him elves, get like pulled out. Yeah, you can see him pull up and then as you look up you see some elves already hung a noose around your neck and just <laughs> pulls you up as well. <laughs> Jesus. In the trees. <laughs> yeah, right. And yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. where we're gonna leave you guys. <laughs> just hanging out, you could say. So, yeah. back to, um, uh, Kaylin. <laughs> Kaylin, um, Some good you bump. return back to your tribe. As you return back to your tribe, you see, um, large rooted trees, um, that its roots are so long that kind of gave, um, that the structures are built, uh, below it. You see various, uh, trees growing on top of these, um, makeshift, um, homes that you call home. 
Um, these structures are built to house all of the Ewa tribes. The Ewa tribe um, seems to be uh, happy to see you as they all nod at you and say you um, hello in Elvish. They um, welcome you with open arms because they know that today it is your uh, ceremony. Tonight, actually. Um, finally, you make your way back to the home in front of uh, the home of um, Iwani. And Iwani looks at you. She smiles and says, I've been working on this for a very long time. Um, well, not so long. Long enough. She pulls out a a headdress for you um, with various beads uh, des de um, designed dangling on the side. It's a beautiful headdress, uh, more like a crown, I should say, than a headdress. But it has uh, peacock feathers. Um, ooh. Okay. Uh, it has peacock feathers uh, built on around the crowns. And she says to you, for your uh, for your ceremony tonight. Ah, roll for the Iwani Kwame. But Iwani is, is perfect in her ceremonies, big and tiny, because we love her. Because <laughs> we love her. Um, here. To give you an idea of what Iwani looks like, I saw this image, though. I do not get the credit for this. Yes. But uh, just believe that I did it. For sake of the universe. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I thought I saved it. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't save it. I didn't save it. I didn't save it. It's just. It's just so right. So. This time, Iwani, um, you notice Iwani is wearing. Um, uh, sort of like a red mark around her uh, eyes and all the way, it, it runs all the way back to her ears. It has various elvish um, markings and symbols along the uh, design to make it look more uh, ceremonial. She beaded her hair extra nicely uh, for the ceremony. Uh, she can't wait because one day it's going to be her turn. Um, she carry, uh, she has on her collarbone a beautiful um, uh, mark, uh, red mark, uh, to represent that she's still young, um, and uh, has she's like the uh, uh, equivalent of your um, like your flower girl, you know, kind of deal. So uh, she's definitely the uh, the young girl that is um, helping you go through your process. So she's going to be just carrying all the the ceremonial items for you. Um. She then takes the opportunity, after you give her a big hug, um, she uh, puts on a headdress for you. Um, and once she adorns you the headdress, she smiles and says, I hope to grow and be as beautiful as you. Make it to your um, actual home. By the time you make it to your actual home, you see your father or a door awaiting you. With your newly adorned, uh, newly headdress on, he looks at you and smiles. I cannot be any happier and more proud of you. Tonight, my people of the Ewa tribe, we celebrate the Inki Maya of my beloved daughter. Kia Alin. And everyone go. Cheering for you, celebrating your uh, coming of age, and then all of a sudden you hear drums start playing, doom, 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 doom. long horns that, that plays a sound that's so 
and kind of obnoxious and pretty loud. Okay. It's like, um, and they symbolizes a party and a ritual for you. As you see, um, young uh, elven maidens, uh, a sort, uh, would appear and dance for you. And one of them is a woman. Um, you see them all wearing the same color and the same mark as a woman did previously. And as they dance in this, uh, the moonlight, she, uh, you see her raise one of her hand up really high, and uh, you see another girl would come over to her and plant a a branch, a tiny branch, and as they she rips the branch, she then pulls it to her chest. Then she goes by the fire, the campfire in the middle, and light it. And she holds it, uh, the flames amongst her hand, on the palm of her hand. As she starts to dance, as uh, she starts to lean forward and dance with, uh, uh, by raising her uh, hips and knees up really high, as if she's stomping the ground. And then she raises her other arm up to represent, kind of gracefully, to represent the circular motion of the moon. And she goes over to you and lay the fire by your uh, by where you're sitting. And then your father is sitting by you. What would you like to do uh, in the ceremony? Um, I mean, is there like something that I can like actively do? Like no, no. Pretty much, you're uh, you're here to enjoy the party portion. This is okay. just the uh, the enjoyment of the party. The uh, ceremony uh, has not yet taken place yet. So you can walk around and do whatever you want, explore the place, whatever you want to do. Okay, but hold on. Wait. Okay, real quick. Um, I think that um, Caitlin probably just, if, she, if it's just like a party, like social setting, she would probably just go and talk to, you know, different people. Um, you know, she's, she's very, like, humble and wants to be a part of the people, so she'd probably just interact with everybody. Um, yeah, yeah. That she can, you know? Yeah, the most definitely. Um, you would actually find uh, um, your father is sitting and I'm actually not sitting. Yeah, he's walking around the fire uh, while the dance is going on. A lot of the uh, uh, denizens of uh, the Iwa tribe is just enjoying the uh, dance and the rich this the performance. Your father has made it a note to walk around with the uh, leader of the Ikan tribe, and he's talking, whispering. You make your, uh, you noticed it, but you decided to make your rounds and talk to the others. As you do, um, you are talking to like a, uh, uh, it looks like, I'm sorry, it looks like a, a weaver. Uh, this, this, uh, the, uh, your elven tribe are known for your spirituality. And, uh, the weaver weaves baskets who represents the, uh, the spirit, uh, the animal spirits. That watches over the land. She humbly smiles as you approach her. She bows her head and she says uh, to you, uh, uh, she says to you, I know I'm not in here. Hello, my beautiful Catalina. She says, oh, what do I, um, what can I do for you? Um, I think I was just checking in. She smiles and says, are you enjoying the ceremony? Uh, Caitlin's going to like, think about it for a second before nodding. Uh, but her eyes are going to keep going to her dad and the, uh, um, tried later, like, if she doesn't want him here, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. she went back to the weaver, and, um, yeah, yeah. The weaver noticed your, uh, uh, your eyes moving and shifting, and she says, do not worry, it is just the tribal politics. Your father is just watching out for his people. Like, 
she can't understand, so she's not happy about it. You hear um, one of the girls, uh, one of the weavers' uh, daughter, comes up to her and says, back to her, but without noticing that you're there, she's so excited. She says, oh, the uh, Tatakum, oh, a handsome man he is. He found there is danger amongst the outskirts of our village. He protect. oh, Kyle, I am so sorry. I did not know you're there. Forgive my intrusion. No, it's it's okay. What did she? What happened? You, both of them look confused as uh, they do not want to uh, burden your ears with uh, rumors and gossip. Wow, curious. She's gonna stand there and kind of give you a look, like you know, spill it. <laughs> <laughs> make a uh, make a persuasion check. With advantage, man. You are the chief. Tell me what I want to know. Uh, 19. Thank you for playing. Oh, hold on. Did I add anything to that? I'm, uh, 21. I'll do it. I'll do it, yeah. You fucking tell me everything. Uh, the weaver and the weaver star look at each other and they say, um, they say to you, you are the Eve Ekatan, I. Ekton, sorry. Eve Ekton. Uh, we do not want to make you feel uncomfortable with our rumors and our. It is just. The, the Weaver Dark finally says, Mother, it is it's okay. She's. She, she's kind, like. Her mother finally nods. Well, Ita, the Itan tribe have worked really hard to protect our tribe because Akaum is excited to be married. So we decided in your honor hunt the ravagers that killed our forest and bring to you a gift. Their heads. Oh! Oh! <laughs> but, uh, they seem to have found stranger creatures there. He is still going to bring them here for you. Um, they seem to be different. I believe one of them is made of humans. Okay, so your curious nature uh, piques your interest. As the uh, performance wrap up to a close, the uh, chief finally makes his announcement and he says, Hail my, my brothers and sisters. Today, the Ikni Maya, we will be blessed for my daughter finally accept. Our fate, our destiny. She is the Eve, Ekton daughter. And she will be the new Eton tribe princess. And everyone just cheers and loud chants and stomping their feet. Today we celebrate the unification of not only my beautiful daughter, but our tribe. As you all know, our totem was lost. But the Eton tribe has finally put away their differences and made it known that they will here, be here to protect us. I cannot thank you enough my brothers and sisters, over the years that you have kept our Eladrin tradition. But today we'll be unified and follow not only ours, but theirs. Let us rejoice. 
and everyone screams and, and, and holler. Speaking of ceremony, now let us continue. And everyone waits as they hum and sing to a chant as they make way for you, as your father takes out a uh, beautiful feathered headdress and brings it over to you. He says, my daughter, today it is your day that you become a full-fledged man. We recognize it is your time to become of age. He, wait, he waits for you to remove your uh, previous address. Uh, she like kind of like she's having an internal conflict, but she'll slowly re remove her headdress and kind of lean so her dad can touch her and her father, or her new husband's father. Mm -hmm. He places this beautiful headdress on you. Um, the headdress uh, um, has a feathered uh, creature. Uh, the plume of the feather is very beautiful. It's made from like this like blue and green aquamarine colors, various uh, shades of blue, lined in an arch, um, mm -hmm. tied together on a band weaved from the beads of and the roots of the trees of uh, your forest. He then says to you, um, "No, you are truly." A full fledged elven ruler, and everyone just screams and hollers. And then he turns back, uh, he turns his back towards you and looks at the entire uh, tribe as everyone is laid about the, uh, the tribe watching this view. And he says, Now we feast, but before we do, my beloved son in law. Oh. Has brought us a <laughs> gift. And everyone silence. As you see um, a man um, taller than all the elves, um, buffer than all the elves as well. His uh, body is long, about standing about six feet tall. He has a um, he has a hair. Uh, his hair is shaved on the side, uh, but on the top, um, it's slipped back in a, in a ponytail, leading all the way down. He has various uh, marks on his uh, chest, arms, and his face is very uh, strong. He has, gives you a stern look, but not stern enough to try to scare you away. It softens as he sees you. Try to go to the nursery, but I don't want to suck it. One <laughs> second. I one second. Only because uh, uh I have punch mark on my socks. <laughs> yeah. I need to roll twenty six. Can you let me see? Oi come on. <clears throat> give me, uh, give me one moment, I'm so sorry. One moment, please. One moment, please. One moment, please. <laughs> hey, talk, talk, you're ready to be a human sacrifice. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, we should have left the Ravagers. They would have gone after them and we could have been. <laughs> I know, right? He's stupid. <laughs> that was but, my original idea. But, I was just going to run. You guys didn't know better, so it's yeah, fine. It's fine. We yeah. killed most of them. We killed all except for two. So, you know. His victory is our victory. Actually, you guys did a really good job. I can't believe you killed those orcs, actually. Yeah. Me too. Good for you guys. I got a little scared when they all surrounded us. I was yeah. like, oh, we did. People oh doing more than half right now. Yeah. I was like, oh. Uh. You just send okay. it in Discord. Oh, what the fuck? I could have just sent it on Discord. I'm so dumb. 
So there's a channel <laughs> called uh, Pictures. And that is where. Um, is there? I don't see it. Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Um, one, thing, one thing that's noticeable about him is he does have a, uh, a necklace with a stone at the tip of it. Um, wrapped. Uh, the necklace rope is made from the animal leather, uh, animal fiber, while the stone is made of um, a uh, a stone that you've never seen before, an obsidian, especially amongst the tribe. So he is, he is the quintessential uh, green elf, uh, the best of the best, creme de la creme. Creme de la yeah, he's actually really tall for an elf, and he <laughs> towers over oh, his, even his father. So, um, even the majority, actually more than your entire Elven Iwa tribe, is standing about six feet tall. Um, he proudly stands and he says to you, Kaelin, Taka, uh, he says, I, Takaum, offer you a gift, Kaelin, my bride to be, intruders. And he points as you see um, a uh, a large wooden uh, stick, uh, <laughs> not stick, but a large wooden um, beam. Okay. And on them, you see uh, tied by rope <laughs> around the necks and arms bound it to this beam. Um, and a, a human male and a small creature that's t- hog tied on the uh, <laughs> You're hog tied. Uh, <laughs> the beam. Uh, you see. Uh, Two other human males behind him as well, both tied in similar fashion, uh, as the first human male, um, where their arms are bound, but their legs are free, uh, and their necks are bound to the beam. I'm like trying to blink out the blood out of my left eye. <laughs> like, oh, I can't see anything. My only good eye. My <laughs> only good eye. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you can, you can you can do like a little wave. Um, then the uh the chieftain looks at. Uh, by the way, you should know your already father' name is Amundi, but you should even know that. Amundi. Yeah, Amundi. Uh, and he says, the father looks at the uh the gift and says, Takao. Mm-hmm. <sighs> We welcome your gift. You are just in time for us to enjoy our feast. Ugh. My daughter has finally... Is he saying this in Elvish? Yes. Oh. My daughter is finally wed. And, uh, with you guys here, you guys here, uh, Une Sempul Nag E Wanda De Boasi That's what you guys hear. I hear what they actually say. Oh, you do! You oh, do hear! Yeah. You speak Elvish! Uh, you understand it. But is it like a different Elvish than I know? Um, no, um, these, these are the Elvish that you, elves that you fall for full, so... Oh, okay, cool. Similar. Okay, I kind of flinch at the feast, and we're gonna feast. I'm like, I knew it, they're gonna eat us. <laughs> no, I try to stay really calm, though. I don't want to scare uh, Talk Talk. <laughs> I kind of whisper in, in common to Talk Talk. I'm like, just appear non hostile. I'll try to get us out of this. Good, good. Good, good, Talk Talk. Uh, you hear Arch goes, oh, what are you all speaking about? Hey, uh, hey, oh, what are you How you want to get us out of here? Just stay calm. Stop. Doing what you usually do. What do you mean? <laughs> We're oh, gonna yeah. be fine. Just. Uh, you have no idea. Oh, these creatures. Or oh, savages. Oh, I heard they chop off the heads of their captains and eat and drink the blood of the neck. Partially true. Get it. Get off It's fine. Just. What? Huh? That can get big aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, 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 you're gonna be okay, okay? Boss, Look, the piece. Boss, boss, boss! Uh, I can't scratch my neck! Kai tries. I can't scratch my neck! Scratch it on the pole! Can I try to calm him down <laughs> with my words? 
<laughs> like be make persuasive. Make, make, yeah, make a position check. Shit, man. This is where inspiring leader would have come in. Oh, man. Do I have disadvantage? I'm proficient, though. Oh, if you're proficient, you can roll with advantage. Nice! Okay. Okay. Uh, soft 20. Soft 20. Uh, let's see how, how well you can do it. Oh, well, yes. Yeah! Uh, Arch Calm and down. Bink. Um, well, yeah, they can't be you. So, Arch and Bink. Calm down. You see Bink trying to hug the rope a little bit more on the beam and just try to scratch his neck against the beam. He seems to calm down after that. Um... Uh, you notice that Arch is like looking at you. So he's like gulping his words so he doesn't say anything. Yeah. I just give like, you know, when you feel like you're going through something and you're like, yeah, that dude has already been here kind of feeling. They're like, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely feel. I try to reassure them. I'm like, yep. Okay. All right. Uh, with that being said, Taka Un waits for your answer. Yeah. Uh, what was the question again? Uh, he waits for you to to accept his uh, gift. His marriage proposal. No, his gift. Oh, his gift. Okay. I was like, ah. dowry. The marriage proposal oh. has already been given. This is the dowry. This is the dowry. I don't get a fucking choice. <laughs> um, you could burn it she's all. Gonna look, <laughs> and she's not gonna look happy. Um, because I mean, she's not really into you know getting people as presents. Um, he doesn't know that, but, so how would you respond? Uh, well, she's gonna look at her dad first, as for like, for like a prompt, you know? Cause she, she, he gives you the platform. Say no. what you wanna say. <laughs> she just says no. no. She just says no. Mm-hmm. Everyone hushes. Oh. The drum stops. The horns stop playing. Shit. <laughs> Taco Um felt like he has disgraced you, and he said no. He kneels, and everyone gasps. <sighs> what do you do next? Um, I guess I'll go over to Taco Um. These these are people, like. Were they hostile? To you? He says back. No, no, no. No, they they are not hostile. I I I I am sorry, I disgrace you. I do not deserve this. He He bows on both knees. Everyone looks at you, and he looks up. Wait, you are not going to kill me? <laughs> no. If I dishonor the chief doctor, I will be killed. Do not dishonor me. Do I displease you? Shakes his, it kind of cocks his head to the side as he stands up. I oh, do not want to displease you. What do you have me do with that? Take him back to where you found him and let him go. He, he nods, but he says, If they know we are here. Oh uh, yeah, the, uh, Theo and uh, Talk Talk. You guys see a uh, a beautiful elderly woman uh, leaning her head at the side with a very extravagant headdress, looking past the uh, strong elven uh, male that you saw before that captured you both. 
Um, and she kind of squints her eyes a little bit to look at you. What do you do? Respond. Uh, I look. She wears the biggest headdress in the room. I look a little bit afraid. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to kill me, but I want to like, uh, kind of honor her and like, kind of bow my head a little bit as much as I can in <laughs> this uh predicament. Um, do but I don't say anything. Okay. Um, you notice that Theo, uh, well, this human male that's in front of the line, seeming to nod a bow at you. Out of respect. Is Tuk Tuk tied like literally against the pole, or is it like his arms are tied together and his legs are tied together, so his like midsection's hanging down, kind of thing? Yeah, the 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 latter. Oh, can I say in common sense? Tuk Tuk's just gonna start swinging, you know, left and right, left and right, <laughs> while staring. I like don't know. She her looking over. I'm gonna. Uh, kind of lean over to the, the other guys and be like, in common, uh, be like, I see it's peaceful. They're going to let us go. Oh, <laughs> you hear, oh, once you say that, Arch is, oh, I, I didn't do anything. I, Arch, Arch. And everyone gasps as he speaks. <gasps> oh, shit, he's going to do it. And you see Takakun get, look, talk, talk, uh, Takakun. Uh, gets a little bit uh, angry. Um, he is about to turn his body around to, to slap the man for disgracing you. Um, what do you do? Um, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll try and grab uh, Taco for not slapping because he's clearly worried for no reason. Okay, he looks, he, <laughs> he, he, he looks at you, Kaylin, and he's so confused. He's 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 been a warrior his entire life, so he's really confused at your uh, your grace, your mercy. <laughs> um, and he says to you, "They have dishonor you." Um, and kind of like tilt her head and like, not really. Um, you know, kind of peek back over at them. Like back at Kimberly. She's gonna like put her hand to like avert her nose and she like thinks because like he's he is right that you know they're there now. Um she's gonna she's gonna look back at him and say like don't hurt them, but put them somewhere. Lock them. Lock them up. <laughs> Lock them up. Lock them up. <laughs> Get wrecked. Um, he looks at the situation and he says, "I do not want to ruin your thinking." Uh, sorry. He says, "I don't want to ruin your thinking, Maya." So, I will lock them up in the wooden vines. Gosh. And they will be near me. He smiles as we said that. Um, <laughs> so funny. Like he, 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 you know, like he takes this as an invitation. So he's like, he smiles and you've never seen him smile before. Um, he's always so serious. And he looks at you and say, yes, Steph, I will join you by your side. And then he says to his uh, Helvin brothers, Put them in the vines, and they all carry you guys. <clears throat> I I want to like get up a heads up to my crew. Be like, they're not going to do anything to us if we stay quiet. Just nod your head respectfully. I look at Ark and Beans like, especially you two. I I was being respectful. Yeah, just. What was your charge? It'll be okay. Just calm yourself. Like, right. okay, okay, okay. Ark and smile, nod. But he's still doing that swing left and right thing, you know, <laughs> like he's a little piece off. Yeah. Everyone is so serious that you, you're like you're like break in the the seriousness. Of, <laughs> Seriously. Uh, you're the only person that's seen. No. Yeah. Um. You finally um 
You guys finally I'm like uh, tripping over twigs as we're walking. Yeah, you guys are about <laughs> yeah. about uh, sixty feet away from about forty five feet away from the fire and the ceremony. You find yourself in a um, in a, uh, a by a large tree that encircles the entire area of the, the this tribe. One of the large trees have roots that stands the tree up so tall that beneath that under it seems to be vacated. They put they pull you in long on the beam. And they untie you and they toss you um, inside underneath the tree, Ouch. and they all leave. As they leave, you notice that one of them uh, touches the tree, and you see small vines kind of merge and connect each other to form like a jail cell. Okay. Interesting. Uh, you're right. Yeah. I told you. But it's okay, I heard them. They said they're going to let us go. Surprisingly... You speak funny talk. What'd he say? You speak funny talk. I... He means I, Elvish. Yeah, yeah. I, I can understand it, yeah. Isn't that helpful? I mean, I've never really had to use it. I've never talked to an elf before. They usually aren't, you know... Willing to. Usually they're more savage than this. I've never seen one with such. I don't know. Doc has never Mercy. seen something before. So. Um, Can we short rest with it? Uh, technically, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <A> short rest. <laughs> Is uh, Beanson, uh, uh, oh, there. They're hurt. They're hurt bad. Okay, I'm gonna use my mic. Okay, you put them back in. Yeah. And you heal them up. Wait, did he leave us with our gear, or is that like somewhere else? Oh, oh no, they don't. They don't. Uh, I'm assuming your mic is in your. Oh yeah, they, yeah, you're totally right. They, they took my stuff. Yeah, they took your weapons. Help! And your knapsack. So. Ah shit. Uh -huh. Well, I short rest them. They did not take your bag of holding though, because they did not know it's. Um, oh, nice. Or your cube of holding. <gasps> your cube of holding. My, my, my cube of holding. They let wow. you keep your funny rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but overall, um, they leave you alone. You see one guard guarding the area. I so. want to listen in and like hear what they're talking about. Oh, they're just singing and chanting and having yeah. a great time. Yeah, I'm just going to keep an, an eye on them okay. in case anything changes. Okay, then. <laughs> um, you see food is brought out on um, leaves of platter. Um, platter made of leaves, I should say. And um, various... Uh, Fruits and uh, harvest are plated on the on the dish. I mean, the dish is plated beautifully, and uh, everyone seems to enjoy the performance and nibble. During this time, what would you like to do? Me? Yeah. Um, I'll you know make my appearances and go through the motions, like. But eventually. I would like to sneak off to the jail cell. <laughs> um, easily enough, um, you make your rounds to make your presence known, and after which the party kind of move on its own, it's kind of quiet, dampening the noise, and losing sight of what they're celebrating for. As you find the time to slip out, you make your way towards the jail, or quote unquote vine cell, um, and you, as you make your way there, the guard there. Nods at you and bows. Well, uh, or do you want to sneak behind him, or do you want to sneak, like? To the no, side. I'll just walk by him. I, I've got the authority. <laughs> yeah, <That's> right. <laughs> yeah, slay. Slay <laughs> three. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll just walk by him. I'll give him like a nod as I walk by him. Yeah, I take a step back to give you your privacy. Good guy. Good boy. Um, when I get to the party that is trapped in the jail cell, now, is it, you said it was under a tree? Yeah, it's under a, uh, a large tree with its roots, um, spread all out, um, touching the ground to give it kind of this jail cell, and you see tiny vines, uh, connecting to each other, to each roots. Uh, when I, um, 
like, would I have to crouch if I wanted to see into it, or? I know, you're most definitely not. Okay. Well, I didn't know how high it would be. Um, I will look at the people in the jail cell, um, and I will speak in Elvish, because everybody speaks Elvish. Um, <laughs> and I will ask, what brings you here? Oh. Everyone looks confused. Arch and 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 Bing, like Arch takes his opportunity to stand up and says, "Oh, hey, hey!" Uh, <clears throat> he rushed up to the vines, almost scaring you, uh, Kaylin. Yeah, but he doesn't know what she said. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, he's so he just says, like a person. I say, "Oh, hey, miss, look, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong at all. I just barely know all these guys. I just let me go. I love to help you out." Does she understand what he's saying? I was gonna say, do I, my cheeks is I understand common, but um, I'd say you do, but um, he spoke he spoke too fast, so you 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 having a hard oh, time okay. catching on. So so it's common is like my second language, so it's kind of a little fuzzy sometimes. Yeah, you you okay. weren't common from your um, you know, friend. Oh, okay. From your Um. Uh, no, the other friend. Oh. Not Iwani. Oh, Not- no, my other friend. <laughs> Your other friend. <laughs> I, I you have a lot of friends. I have friends, man. <laughs> I promise. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she's gonna take a step back, and, and like, Bink goes up right behind him, just oh, look, I, I, I barely know him either. Oh, 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 didn't do anything. Oh, didn't do anything. I swear. Oh, I swear. And they like they look like the most foul creatures you've ever seen. <laughs> um, what? Just out of curiosity, would I have any sort of like? Any of my weapons on me? Any? Like, no, this is ceremonial. Okay, I I figured, but I didn't know if I would have like ceremonial weapons on me. Ceremonial like weapons. Ceremonial um, you do as gifts, but you you left them at the uh, the, okay. the like the pile right next to where you sit. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, she'll take another step back and like look at both of them like. Clearly, like, her face expresses that she has no idea what they're saying, and she's just very confused by them. She's also a little disgusted by them. <laughs> I push Binks and uh, Arch back, and I'm like, hey, 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 you're scaring her off. She's the only way that we're getting out here. Just calm down. Go sit down. It's gonna be... Hey, hey, I, I see you getting pushed. Oh, I know, I know, I know something you might know. I have, I, he pulls out a paper, and he shows you a paper. And the description uh, of the paper, like the drawing of the paper, looks very familiar to you. Uh, I was going to say, does it, how familiar does this thing look? <laughs> it looks extremely nice familiar. Tone. You know what it is. Um, uh, yeah, she's going to come back up to the bars and try and grab the paper from him. He's like, oh, uh, he pulls it back. As uh, now uh, Theoden and, uh, uh, is in the way of you two. Uh, Theo, so, like, Visibly get angry, and she'll point. Kind of trying to grab it from him. Like yeah. I just said, she's the only way we're getting out of here. Okay, but I don't trust these folks. We can just give them what I have. We have to trick them, lie to them. You realize that if you do that, they're just going to kill us. We would have been dead by now if it wasn't for them. Okay. I I want to take it from him. The paper. I'll hand it. I kind of like nod respectfully to her because I'm like, oh shit, she got like. Everybody was looking at her earlier. Yeah, she finds it. She'll take it from Thea and she, you know, she's like, gently pulls it out and she says, Thea, you're beautiful. So she'll take it from him and she'll look down at it and like. You see the totem of the owl spirit, which you're tribe um, holds to protect its uh, uh, space. Recently, um, its its disappearance has caused quite a stir amongst its people and unrest. The fact that um, someone outside of your village knows this and has this, it kind of strikes a couple flags and questions. Um, after, like, studying it and, like, looking at it, like, just looking at it, like, Pretty shocked, obviously. Uh, she's gonna look back up and still in Elvish, because no one's, no one's told her they can't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna uh, ask me, 
where did you where did you get this? Um Yeah. Um He's like watching her face like waiting to see like um just for intention. So you can tell that she's like concerned, I guess, while looking at the paper. Mm-hmm. Um Well, uh in that case then yep. Yeah. You stare uh Uh oh, I'm not gonna get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, um, the cutie boy. <laughs> uh, you, you stare into her eyes, um, because uh, you you know, in your soldier ways, you've learned to yeah to to do that. So you stare into you look into her eyes, and your um, as if all sound have kind of removed itself from your surroundings. You create a um, a moment with with Kaylin, where you feel like you. That he's trying to let you know, Kaylin, that he understands you. So, Kaylin, I'm um, sorry. So, Theo, what do you respond to? I'll her? respond back in Elvish, uh, yeah. and be like, um, "What she asked? Like, where, where, where how? Did you get it? Where do you get this? Someone outside the veil." Was looking for this artifact. They gave us this description and wanted us to find it. Uh, she's gonna look back down at the artifact and then look back at the hand. She's gonna like point to herself and say, like, you know, um, my artifact is missing. Um, we have to join others. We need to join the Ikon tribe. I need this artifact. Well, if you free us, we can help you find it. Uh, she'll take a moment to look away from Theo and at the two, uh, I can't remember their names, the bad, bad names. So okay. Arch and Binks. And Arch and Binks, thank you. And and I know, I know, <laughs> um, I got that one written down. <laughs> you see, as you look at them, um, Binky notice your gaze. He just grabs the hand of Tok Tok and pretend that this is his child. He's like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just a dog. I'm a single dad, you know. I'm always talk around here, trying to make a living. And I have to follow him around. My poor okay, son needs food. food. He's well good. I'm, she's definitely gonna like raise her eyebrow. I'm like, uh, that, like, what the I'm like, uh, don't mind them. They don't know what you're saying. They don't know all of this. Leave. Do you want to live? Oh yeah, I'm just trying to find. You could find gold a different day. Oh, I... We are already getting paid. You said, unless that was a lie. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a lie. I was my my memory. Oh, <laughs> now you got him questioning his own to the. Um, like, <laughs> um, wait, can I ask him like who hired you? Wouldn't mind. I met him in a town not too far off from the hamlet we were in. What kind of man? I don't know. It's a funny looking man, long grey hair, wearing some sort of black armor. Put it to me. Well, I was like, oh, I'm better than he is. He says he has plenty of coins, he showed me. Does it sound familiar? Could be any old man, you know. Uh, definitely not. Okay, I figured, but I was asking. Well, I'd rather have our lives and 
Not gold. I'm not giving her that artifact. I'm just saying. Then they'll kill us. She's gonna look at him and gonna get really angry. Uh. And um, she's gonna say, "It was ours. It was ours first. Well, hey, hey, right, hey. <laughs> Tree hugger, go. I, I'm gonna like <laughs> grab him on the shoulder and be like. I don't want to persuade him. Be like, if you just give this artifact back to them, I can find other quests that I'll go with you on to make money. Live another day. Boy. Yeah, I'm not. insight. Does it feel like he's actually gonna? Um. Um. Yeah. Go ahead. He's not the best. Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Yeah. You know, um, he seems a bit ambivalent, because after all, he he spent a long time trying to... F- Actually, not a long time, but... He spent... He felt like he spent a long time trying to find it, and he put a lot of investment into this artifact, so... But at the end of the day, he realized that he is captured, so... Okay. Uh, I'll turn back to, to Kaylin. Be like... If we have our lives... We'll help you find it. I say in Elvish. Broken Elvish, by the way. I have broken Elvish? Yeah, you have broken Elvish. Okay. She has broken common, you have broken Elvish. Nice. We can make this work. Communicating. Communicating. She's gonna look at him and, like, try and, like, see if he's trustworthy, like, trying to get that vibe, you know? Oh, okay. Make an insight check for me, then. With okay. my scarred up face, that seems like she. Um, actually, in this scenario, uh, I would say you would get an advantage because you have the upper hand. So I would say it cancels each other out. So it'd be a normal roll. Oh. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Um. She stares at you. She cocks her head left and right, trying to visualize what you're saying to her, uh, Theo. Now she does. Her, um, her beautiful green eyes uh, kind of allure you. And you try to wink your eyes a bit. My eye. Uh, your eye, I should say. You, wink, uh, you, you blink your eye a bit and to kind of like shake off the trance. And you believe that, you know, these creatures... Yeah, they can mind control you. Yeah, mind control you. Um... And, uh, but overall, um, Kaylin, you don't seem, you see some hostile, um, some, some trepidation from, uh, uh, from Theo, uh, but overall, he seems to have given, uh, up, forgo his, uh, his desire to help, just to help you so he can get his freedom, basically. Um, she will uh, take the paper and she'll tuck it probably in like her bra. <laughs> well, about tucking in her bra because where else she gonna put it? Mm-hmm. Um, and she'll look at Theo and then at the rest of the party and then you know her broken common and say, "Leave, leave tomorrow," and then she'll walk away. We need our things. <laughs> As she goes to the leave. Be like, if you want us at our best, we need our items. Our gear. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll figure it out tomorrow. You colors. Uh, right. I'll turn back to the, the boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the boys. Well, she said that last part in common, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, rest up. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, you hear a uh, go, oh, what, what, what'd she say about me? Was she gonna play me? Huh? Only huh? if we give her the artifacts. Did this whole child thing work? She yeah. got kids. Will we sacrifice him? No, 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 no. Talk to her the lair. <laughs> no sacrifice. <laughs> no sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just wait? Yes, sleep. 
I mean, this is the most protected place you'll have for the night. No ravengers can get us here. <laughs> so I'll make a like a little spot in the corner. <laughs> and as you make yourself comfortable, everyone looks at you as if they're like, "What's going to get? What's happening?" They're, they they feel like their questions questions are unanswered. But um, overall, um, Binks and Arch manage to do the same. Talk talk. Do you want to talk talk? Do you want to do anything here? Uh, I mean, he's kind of fine with the situation, okay. especially since it sounds like they're going free, so he's not going to do anything like shady to try and get out. But how close is that guard, by the way? Um, that one singular guard. Uh, five feet. All five feet. feet. How long? Or how far? Five feet. Within five feet. Okay. Alright, so if I scoot to the farthest reach of the cage, Hawkeye's gonna try and like open up his little cube of holding and just pull out his tinkering tools and just start fishing <laughs> with things if he can do it as quietly as possible. Oh, the farthest reach, so a far away from the, the guard. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna infuse the armor or We have no armor. No Or is it on me still? No no, no. Um, um I, I thought you were trying to infuse something, that's why I'm asking. No, I'm mean, using tinkering tools. But I figured infusing would be nice, but that probably would draw too much attention and take a shit away. Okay. But with yeah. the tinkering tools being a gnome, uh, I can make like a clockwork toy set or something like that. Sure, yes, what are you making? Takes about an hour. Uh, he's just gonna make like this little owl that'll kind of hop around and go boot boot. Okay. <laughs> um, he's not gonna do anything with it right now, he just wants to make it and have it for later. Definitely. The hardest part is making it the, the toot toot sound, but you eventually, yeah. um, uh, over the time, tinker a, a little owl statue uh, that can hop around with a. It only lasts 24 hours, but it says I can spend like another hour and repair it, so it lasts another day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's all he wants to do. Yeah. Okay. Cool, duly noted. So, with that being said, uh, Kaylin, you return back to the uh, party. Do you want to do anything? Um, in this party, Kaylin? Um, not within the party. I do want to find my dad and put him beside the... Okay, yeah. Um, you find your dad and you know, nodding his head, laughing at the matter, talking to Taka Ume, his father. Uh, he's enjoying the, uh, kind of like the manly talk, you know? Um, and then you tap him on the shoulder, and he looks over at you. Uh, he says, tell me what is wrong. Yes. He stands up. Uh, I will lead him somewhere secluded. Okay. Uh, you find um, you go inside your home because uh, the uh, the entire thing is right in front of your home. Uh, so you go, you open, you 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 push back the curtain and you go in, and he says, "What is wrong?" Uh, I'm going to pull the picture out of my bra <laughs> and I'll open it up and show him. He grabs it and he goes, They must kill me. <laughs> no. I'm gonna grab it back from him. Uh, no. We're going to look for it. Mm, they don't it. have it? They don't have it. No, you cannot go. I will send Taka ta ta Umi. Go. No, I am going. Kaelin, you are not a warrior. You cannot fight ravagers amongst our forest. You may not know this, but their kind is slowly killing ours. He's gonna like look at him. Like, I want to say, like, disappointed. And she's gonna like, cross her arms. I can do it. And I will. I'm not going to sit by and be used as a political tool. But don't you. Do to find it. You are headstrong like your mother. But my answer is still no. 
I cannot sacrifice my daughter to the ravagers. Makes sense for a eunuch. It's gonna like point like to kind of where the jail, like the direction the jail is in. Uh-huh. And be like, they are strong. They came to help. They are prisoners. We do not let them free. Because the moment that we let them free, they are going to tear down our forest. You do not see the other one. The stench is so foul, I smelled it from here. (laughs) (laughs) Gonna like nod, like it agrees. (laughs) I should not send my daughter to be killed by one such as that foul creature. Savages. Um, okay. My answer is still no. He has stormed out of the uh, room. I am going to. Be- I'm going back to maintain peace amongst our tribe. I see to it that you do the same. I will let no, Akau know, and he will go. When uh, he leaves, uh, Taylor will. Uh, are there like things up on the wall? Um. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, uh, she's just gonna knock something off the wall because she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you knock some um a wooden uh shields and uh, emblems that are laid across the walls. Out of frustration, you slam it onto the ground as you hear the sound. Of <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, Where are you going? She. Okay, here's what I want to do. Okay. I want to leave in the middle of the night when everybody's sleeping. Sure. With the prisoners. Sure. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right. So wait. I want to know. I want to make sure they have their stuff. Sure. And. Tell me how you want to do it. Um. I want to wait till the party's over, obviously, and everyone's kind of gone to bed. I want to make sure that Taka Oom is nowhere near me. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, but, you know, throughout the entire party, he does make an effort to be really close to you. He's not going to be super thrilled about that. But, yeah. Um, so, when the party line winds up, and the, or the celebration winds up, and the Things settle down and it starts to get like dark. Um, she's going to grab here her ear, um, you know, put her bow on her back and sneak out of her house. Um, now I'm not sure how I would open the jail cell door with my. Oh yeah, it's, it's easy for you. <laughs> it's easy for you to to do it. You just touch the roots and you know you usually just talk to the tree and. Oh, cool. So yeah, um, I'll do that. I'm gonna okay. so, sneak over and uh, Alright, let's tackle it one by one. So, as the party wraps up and Taku Umi make his uh, presence unwanted, he finally uh, understands that you are sad. He says to you, What is on your mind? She's gonna go to bed and I don't want to get married. Physically? No. She's gonna like pat his shoulder. You're fine. She's gonna like pause for a moment. I don't want to lose our tribe, my tribe. He pulls you aside um, where the party is building down some quiet, um, an area where there's some quiet. He looks into, uh, 
he kind of helped you climb up the roots of the trees and you get to a point where you're pretty high. And he says to you, I trained, I trained hard. I looked upon the stars for answers. I thought that if I become the man that I thought you would like, you would love me. When we were kids, I find you as pretty as the stars. Aww. But over the years, I have learned to toughen my heart. I only wanted that unification with our tribe, because I know that your tribe will not survive in ending doom. I have traveled the far beyond the veil, and I have seen what they have done. We have killed our own. We have destroyed their trees, tear down our homes. I fear that they will come and hurt you next. But Ka'alin, I understand that you do not like you. I will call out the angel. But I will give you time. She's gonna look at him. And, uh... So, my, my dad, did my dad tell him about what I told my dad? Yeah. Okay. He's gonna look at him. She's going to say, I'm going to find their home. If I can't find it, I will come back and marry you. He says, No, your heart does not belong to me. Do not force it. He smiles and says, Go, find it. I will give you time. Your time is up when the sun rises. And I will hunt you down. But not yet. I will pretend that I do not do this. Go. She'll look at him. She'll put a little kiss on his cheek and uh, head up. You embark down the tree. You race down as in your arm. Pat it almost. Now you put your headdress aside. You comb your hair back and tie it up. You took the armor that you have worn countless times. You make your way towards the uh, the gate, uh, the jail, and uh, you see them all sleeping, except the uh, the little one. <laughs> the little. You see a guard there. Uh, you know, you don't see a guard there at all. The guard left. And you gathered that taco and you sent him away. Oh, he got your bank. Nobody's around. <laughs> Nobody's around. It is now your turn to uh, free them. So what would you like to do? Uh, she's gonna, like, as quietly as she can, throw a stick against her mind. Kind of making some noise to kind of wake him up. I start awake. <laughs> uh, talk, talk, you hear this as well. Okay. What do you do? Oh, no. Huh? What? Huh? What? You're gonna sit up. Uh, you're the only one that kind of uh, realized this now, actually. Oh. You, yeah, oh. You're, you're, you're too asleep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. I got a BB. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, well, talk, talk's gonna realize she's there, and then, of course, scamper over to the bars. Oh, you return. She's gonna put her like finger to her lips, like like really be quietly. Like an oh. thing. And say, Ahmed, do you leave now? And I'm just gonna look back. Go ahead, sorry. Just look at everybody. Just be like, nod his head. You uh, you look at everybody, everybody's asleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what if oh, we oh. leave Arch in peace here? <laughs> Just fucking leave. You could. 
I feel like that's the best option. <laughs> it's up to you guys. If they don't wake up, I'm leaving them. <laughs> no, they uh talk talk has to has to be able to wake them up. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. No, he just looks back and sees her already sleeping and nods and then looks back at you. He's not making any move to wake him up. He doesn't realize that's what you meant. <laughs> so I just think you're gonna take him. Gonna like look down at him and like use their eyes to motion back to everybody, but all, you know all the other guys that are sleeping. Like, go on, like wake him up. Wake <laughs> go, him do up go, on. go do something. Go do something. Talk to look at you and then look at them. Look at you. Look at them. Look at you. Look at them. Ah. Okay. Then he's gonna crawl on all fours over to Dino. <laughs> and then start poking like the center of his forehead. Like over and over again. And like grab his hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Talk to I sit up. Pretty out there. I uh, see her over there. Oh. Uh I'll start like does he say why we're getting out? <laughs> you see her. Oh, you see her. Where do y'all fear? Okay. Um, I'm gonna start piling my armor. Because I assume I still have it on, right? You still have it on, yeah. Did I sleep with it? Um, I'm assuming you took it off. Yeah, but... so I put it back on. Okay, you put it back on. Alright. Um, you, uh, you notice that you're putting back on it. Uh, I think, I would think Kaylin is feeling a little bit impatient. <laughs> but, um, so you, you release them. Out of and you just come on in to help put on the armor. Uh, <laughs> I feel like this is process. taking too long. Oh my god, this <laughs> fucking guy! Right. Um, eventually, it takes you about two minutes to put everything on, quicker than you've ever done it. Uh, and what do you want to? What do you want to do next? Uh, so the do you vines wake up? all recede back into the roots, of the, the the giant roots of this giant tree. Right now, at the moment, um, the only person that's awake is you, uh, Tok Tok, and uh, you, Theo, and you, Kaylin. What do you guys do? Uh, Kaylin also points to your items right outside. I ask uh, Kaylin, like, if we leave them here, will they be killed if they see us gone? <laughs> Probably. I'm gonna look at him and just give him, like, a... Like a look that says like I wouldn't leave him here, like the one silver head, like Yeah. Okay. We'll wake him up. <laughs> Doc will go over and start doing the finger poke in the forehead to each of them too. Um When he, you wake him up, please cover his mouth. <laughs> uh yeah, you actually go up to him and as he breathe out <sighs> uh, Arch, he's like sends like a wave of oh, you, you just got a waff, like a huge waff. Of his terrible breath. Oh. You poke his forehead, uh, but with your nose so far away. Yeah, <laughs> extended arms far. <laughs> <extended. laughs> and he goes, oh, no. <sighs> no. <laughs> Keep your mouth yeah, closed. <laughs> what do you want to say? Quiet. Let me stick it. Okay, okay. okay. What's your things again, boss? Let's get my things. Oh, hey. We'll go grab our bags. You see, uh, Arch, like, he leads the group as if he, he thinks he's a leader, so he's, like, pretending to, like, look around in the area <laughs> to, uh, like... Yeah, yeah, he, he doesn't, he has no idea what he's looking for or anything. Um, he's, like, he would see some elf, he's, like, hiding and pretending to hide. And oh, that's a good, guys. that's a good. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, um... Kaylin, you have your party together as you try to sneak them out of the uh, the backside of your village. You know this place in and out. Easy enough for you, but it's still difficult to sneak your group of people out. Um, I want you, because everyone has dark vision, so I want everyone to roll a stealth check. You mean group's... no one has dark vision except for Kaylin and Paul. No, I meant every, every, uh, every other elves have. Oh, yeah. all the people want. Yeah, people all the people that's watching. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sorry, yeah, I, meant I thought you meant us. Oh, so, uh, so um, but you guys get advantage because because Kaylin is helping you guys. And I get advantage, so straight up. So you would get straight up roll. Okay. 
Does it make a special? Yep. Ooh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, that that was for um. Oof. A six. This is for uh. Oh. <laughs> if, or bink. Sorry, not bink. Bink. Okay. Uh, what's everyone's stealth? What's your stealth? Uh, I'm in fifteen. Um, what about you, Tom Tom? I got a nine plus one, so I had ten. With advantage? Oh, with advantage? I thought it was just normal straight roll. Oh, uh, it's a with advantage because Kaylin's helping. Oh, okay. I hit my red, so nine to one. I got ten for this roll, so eleven. Eleven? <laughs> Alright! Eleven, one fifteen. Better. Um, Biff, uh, Bink is doing great, but, um, Arch is doing terrible, which you roll? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> not the best. <laughs> As you see, you know, there are a couple of close calls. When a uh, when a guard, uh, when Iwani actually comes up to you, uh, Kaylin. Um, luckily, you hide everyone behind you. Uh, the blind spot of the tree roots, so she doesn't see you. She looks at you, uh, and says. Oh, by the way, I should show you a picture of her now. Oh, you haven't shown her? Yeah, I haven't shown you a picture of her. And I finally can do it on Discord, not fucking... <laughs> yeah! Yay! <laughs> but look at me, try hardy. Um, alright. <laughs> That's her. Oh, she's so cute. What a baby. Oh. She is a baby. I know. Baby elf. Yeah, she's a baby elf. Infant. So, um, she says, Come in. Hello. Uh, did you have, did you enjoy my ritual dance for you? Good. Not, you know, pretty. I remember the first thing I said. I was like, yes, it was very lovely. What are you doing back here? Huh. Are you going to go see the the chick? Uh, like go for head back and forth, maybe. Make a deception check for me. Are you proficient? That's the question. I am not. Okay. Well. You're having a hard difficult time lying to her, so you're gonna to have to roll at a disadvantage. Uh thirteen. Oh! 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 You guys tied! Um. <laughs> uh, that's. Okay, well, usually that means uh, she has no idea what's going on. Uh, she says to you. Hmm. Okay. The Kelucha, I would love to visit with you. I'm, I am always fascinated by the way you are able to speak to the trees. I want to be able to speak to them like you do. Maybe the Kelucha might tell you. She looks like, uh... Nervous, like how how do I get out of this? Um, we can't help you, bro. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like, um, actually, top dog. You can make the owl going on is gonna be like winding up this little clockwork owl that he made. Uh huh. That makes noise and uh -huh. just kind of shock it in the opposite direction. Okay. <laughs> shock it in the opposite direction. Okay, make a deception check for me. It doesn't help that. Page. It doesn't help that. Uh, no, since you're using an item, so that would give you an advantage. So straight up roll. Okay. Oh shit! I actually got an eighteen, but I got minus two on deception. So sixteen. <laughs> All right. Let's see how well she. Oh. oh um. Man. <laughs> you actually chuck it kind of pretty badly, um, and it lands right in front of her. She looks at it. Oh. 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 
she picks it up the owl the owl and she says oh she's so fascinated because she see the legs moving mm-hmm everyone's like five seconds everyone's like five seconds she's She's looking at it with such amazement. It's like time to run. Um, she looks at you, um, Taylor, and says, Carmen, is this a gift for me? <laughs> what is what is this strange conjunction? Hmm. Is it Yeah, fun? what is it? Uh, she yeah. tries biting on it. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it looks like the spirit of now. I'll try it. Thank you. She hugs you. Taylor's gonna be like, I have no idea what's going on, but okay. <laughs> she then, uh-huh. um, she says, I'm going to tell my mother. A gift from me. During your inkling Maya might give me good luck. Fate is on my side. She then t- Imagine how she's gonna feel when it breaks tomorrow. Just no. fall apart. <laughs> she then no, holds last 24 hours. <laughs> she ends holds up contraption, uh, the, the statue, closer to her heart, smiles, and leaves. Oh, scurrying off. Lord, no. It's okay, we might be back by tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. As you guys continue your stuff outside, cleaning, and the lingering, uh, the eeriness of your, uh, Applying to your friend, yeah, um, kind of slowly wane off, uh, focusing on your mission. Uh, you guys snuck out of the tribe successfully. Congratulations! And that's where we're gonna leave off tonight's session. <laughs>